Howdy. How we doing? We doing good? Oh god. Open the Microsoft Store. How we doing, guys? We got a birthday in the house. We got a birthday in the house. And I'll show you guys whose birthday it is. It's somebody's birthday. It's Nebby's birthday. Look guys, I made her a hat. Happy birthday, Nebby. Happy birthday, Nebby. Do you want the hat off? Okay. okay. Sorry. It's her birthday, guys. It's Nebby's birthday. She's now three years old. Can you believe it? Because I can't. Neb it up. Here, Neb. You get up here for a second. You're the person, you're the cat of the hour. You're the cat of the hour, Nebby. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, Nebby. Wait, don't get in my lap yet. We gotta sing her happy birthday. Here we go, guys. Let me try to get in frame here. It's okay. Oh. Happy birthday, Nibby. Yeah. Yeah, it's for your birthday. We're gonna sing you happy birthday, Nibby. Yeah. We're gonna sing you happy birthday. Alright, guys. All of us are going to sing happy birthday to Nebby. She's three years old. You're three years old, Nebby. Thank you. Alright, guys. We're going to sing her happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nebby. Happy birthday to you. She ran away from me. Nebby. Nebby, come back. Come here. Come back. The candle. Nebby, the candle. Come here. Come here. Oh. Yay! She's three. Nebby! Nebby! You're three! Can you believe it? How crazy. It's so crazy. She got distracted. There was a sound she wanted to chase. But, we can't have a birthday without a gift. Nebby! Come here! Come here, Neb! Here! Have some of the treats I got you earlier. Look. Come here. Come here, Nib. Nib, if you sit right here, come here. Come here, Nib. Come on. Come on. Come here, Nib. Come here. Can you sit? Thank you. All right, Nibby. It's time for your gifts. Look, Nibby. Look. Your gifts. Nibby. Look. Look at that. You got some more treats, Nibby. You got some more treats. Nibby. Look. I got you a can. I got you a can. You know what else, Nibby? I got you this little toy. This little spinner toy. Here you go, Nib. What do you think? What do you think? Oh. Nib. You 
give us some more treats. Look, Nibby. Nibby, it's your birthday. She's messing with this plasma ball that I got. Can you sit? Sit. Thank you. Thank you, Nibby. You're such a good kitty. Happy birthday. Get some happy birthdays in the chat. She's got catnip. She's not the biggest fan of catnip. I don't know why. I would want to get her, like, real catnip. Not the, like, cheap Walmart catnip. Are you gonna get into your treats? Look. Here you go. Oh! It fell. Happy birthday, Nebby. You get temptations. For sure. Your mom is perfect. We love her. Happy Nebby Day. Happy Neb Day! Happy birthday, Nebula! Happy birthday, Nebby! We got a whole big... We got a big celebration going for Nebby! Happy birthday, Nebby! Happy birthday, Nebby! Happy birthday, Nebby! What do you think? Here, I'll open your toy for you. Right, let's see how this is. It like spins. I hope she likes it. Is there a little Oh Nibby! Enough, Nibby. Oh my god. Nib. This is aggressive. I bet she'll play with it. I bet if I just leave it on the floor, she'll play with it. Here, Neb. Neb, look. Look at your new toy right there. Happy birthday, Nebby! Yay! Happy birthday, Nebby! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There's a little toy. She's sitting next to it. She's ch oh, she's playing with it, guys. It's hard to see. She's playing with it. Hooray! She's playing with it. She doesn't hate it. She doesn't hate it, guys. She likes it. So it is true, guys. Tonight, once we get this bar, this bar filled up, we'll be meeting Liquid Tay. Who is that? I don't know. But y'all will find out as we watch tonight and watch along. You showed that Apple Bottom Oops. How was your weekend with your friend? Um, thank you, Chud, for the five. John is in Texas. You should collab. Uh, I haven't been reached out to, so. Um, thank you, Brocklanders, for the five. Neb it up. Let's fucking go. Yeah, for real, dude. Let's fucking go. Neb it up. Neb it up. She's playing with her toy. She took it off camera. She's playing with it. Oh. Oh, there she is. She's, she's playing with it see she likes it guys she likes it but um aisling spiegel thank you for the five hey tay hope your day is doing good going good happy birthday nebby from us and our tortoise shell cats eve and zippy give her kisses and pets from us neb it up thank you neb it up happy birthday nebby yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, Mop Wagon, for the five. Challenge Jimmy to a boxing match. <laughs> oh, shit. That would be funny. That would be really funny. But. 
What do we think, guys? We got Nebby's birthday. Oh, wait. Her treats are in the way. I got a plasma ball. I got a cheap plasma ball because I thought it was cute. And it looked cool. Hell yeah. Neb it up for real. Neb it up. And Liquid Tay will be on the way with a very valuable item once Liquid Tay is here. There will be a very valuable item revealed. So, on that note, are you guys ready to watch the Daily Digest? Days 8 through 14. It's crazy. The item. Yes. Liquid Tay has the item that we all want to see. I'm glad that does it automatically. Holy shit. Oh, shit. That was almost bad. F. We got Fs in the chat. No. Fuck. F again. No. All right, we good? I hope we're good. She's not chewing on the cable. She's playing with her toy. She's playing with her new toy. Maybe he's not chewing on cables. My animals don't do that. Yikes. I think it's good. Wave your hands to confirm. Hands are waving. Are we good? Are we good? I hope we're good. I'm gonna be upset if we're not good. We gotta... We're dropping frames. We're dropping frames. Oh god. Oh fuck. And god damn it. It's all good. It's good. All right. I hope we're good. I'm pissed. I hate this shit. Wave my No. <laughs> I don't use Netflix. It ain't me. Nebby is now 3 years old. Nebby's now three years old, guys. But. Digest time? Are we ready for the digest? Digest time? Digest time? Are we ready for the digest, guys? But. Hell yeah. Digest time. I'm thinking it's digest time too. Time to digest that shit. That's for real. So. Let's get the digest pulled up. Alright. Let me... Okay. Now, let me get the digest pulled up. All right. Are we ready? Let me do this so it's easier. Oh, I should just full screen it. Hmm. Should I trust that? Oh. Hi, Neb. Need me to turn off your toy? She likes it, guys. I'm glad. I'm worried. I'm... I'm... <sighs> Bruh. I think I fucking know what it is. 
W. Wade, it's my cat's birthday, okay? You're gonna come in here on my stream and you're gonna tell me that I can't give my cat attention. I'm giving her her moment because it's her birthday. Look at her. Look at her. It's her birthday. You can't just tell me that. All right, I'm worried about this voice message. I think I know personally what it is. I ain't even gonna stunt right now. I really am not even gonna stunt. I think I know what it is. And I'm cringing. see. I'm gonna mute my desktop just to be sure. Dude, I haven't liked these videos yet because I haven't watched them yet. Hell yeah. Thank you. Alright. Okay. Alright. I'm copying the link now. I'm now pasting it. I feel like this is going to be some cringe shit. Ah. Thank you, Onkel, for the 540. Throwing down my Tay Bucks on my homie Nebula. Happy birthday, little Nebula. Hope your, hope your bitch owner makes it a good one. You're both cute as hell. Hashtag gay for Tay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, on Kel. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna mute the desktop real quick. I'm worried about that, how this is gonna go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know what this is. I know what this is. I know what this is. I knew before it even happened. Just so you guys know. I knew before it even happened. So. So. Y'all want to keep doing that shit. I knew y'all were going to do that before it even happened. But yeah, I'll play it for you guys. I be lurking. I, I be lurking. Message review. Hello, Taylor. How are you? It's a bit late for me, but I wanted to call you anyway. I'm guessing you got a new phone number, and that's why you didn't answer. Anyway, they call me Q and Anna, or Q. I'm the 19-year-old computer science major who you likely heard about from donations on your stream. Um, those are not for me, or streams, I should say, really. It's, it's like multiple streams at this point. Anyway, those are not from me, and I've never donated to your stream before. I feel like Dave Ramsey right now. I'm fascinated with you, and I'm also plan-oriented. Listening to a phone call. I like to make plans. So I thought that if I publicly strategize on how to get in touch with you in the most, from my knowledge, active fish tank-related community. I'm just going to stop right there. What do we think of this guy? What do we think of this guy? What do we think of this guy? Cause. I could go full truth mode right now. I could be a total truther right now. Should I? Because. Can't tell if this, uh. Can't tell if he's joking or not. Hmm. 
personally, personally, at least from what I have seen on, uh, you know, the site, uh, he's full of shit. Not that I'm, you know, obviously, it's fucking insane that he's doing this. Obviously. However, from what at least I thought I was seeing. Okay. Fun, fun Young, thank you for the five. Crack doesn't like this guy. He seems sus. Crack Gang has your ba best interests. Thank you, Crack Gang. Thank you, Crack Gang. Crack the planet. However. What I was seeing was that he noticed I was catching on to his little antics on my stream. Taylor, you said you're a lurker. Did you listen to the other one in that thread too? Also shout out to my homie Puff Puff. Oh, he a real one. Shit, there's a second one? Okay, the second one I'm not aware of. However, I thought I was seeing some shit about y'all on y'all's little, you know, your little chat board. Y'all were wanting to like, do this. And I knew y'all were wanting to do this. Um, so I was definitely expecting it. I was definitely expecting it. And I have the urge to play the rest of it for you guys. Just so you guys can get a good image of how this type of dude is. I mean, the fish tank alive, season two thread on the band board on 4chan. That it could get helpful feedback, would come up with new ideas and strategies. And I actually did get some feedback. Some feedback was helpful. But the majority of the feedback was from the, what I like to call them, serfs. You know, these serfs, many of them are either actually or spiritually Chinese. Nothing of victory nor defeat. You now they fear a man like myself who's actually in the arena. Essentially, they despise a romantic. Like the crab bucket mentality where crabs are grabbing onto the crab trying to leave to escape the bucket. Now, is this liquid coal? That's what I want to know. Is this liquid coal? I don't really care. I'm not fucking scared of you guys. I'm really not. But, I was thinking as soon as I heard it that this was liquid coal. Is this liquid coal? Because <laughs> Oh my god. But No, I'm not saying detective coal. I'm talking about liquid coal. The first coal. However, Q, Q in Anon? I'm gonna have to pass, buddy. I'm gonna have to pass, old pal. We're gonna have to pass on that one. It's Jover. It's Jover. So... Q and Anon, you can keep doing this all you want, but it ain't gonna happen, bud. It ain't gonna happen. You can't be stalking motherfuckers in Texas. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. So... I understand, at least from what I thought I was seeing on Bant, uh, you guys were just trying to, like, freak me out. 
so. I do want to hear the next one. I want to hear the next one. I'm going to look at the next one. Since there is apparently a second one that didn't get sent to me. I saw y'all mentioning the voicemail. Like no one had done it yet. But finally someone did it. Which, you know, good job. It took y'all that long. I don't know how I feel about that, though. He's not trolling. He's not trolling. Or he is. Okay. I'm gonna mute- I'm gonna mute my desktop just so I don't get fucked here. But I'm gonna listen to the second one. Hey, Bailey. I'm really sorry to disturb you, and I was hoping I'd never reach this point, as it feels pretty weird phoning you, almost completely unprompted like this. QAnon is making posts about you on 4chan's bant again. He uploaded his whole four-minute voicemail to you. Wait, hold up. This one sounds okay. He's, like, warning me, pretty much. I never thought it would get to this point. You and people are making fun of him for being- Wait, wait. Hey, Bailey. I'm really sorry to disturb you, and I was hoping I'd never reach this point, as it feels pretty weird phoning you, almost completely unprompted like this. QAnon is making posts about you on 4chan's bant again. He uploaded his whole four-minute voicemail to you, and people are making fun of him for being a weirdo creep. All of us have been waiting to hear his voice because he talks about how he doesn't really get along with other people, but that was really just bizarre. Um, oh, yeah, the thing about him censoring your name is T.Y. is true, too, and there's a lot of other examples of him being, like, completely unhinged. Um, uh, oh, shit, I almost forgot to bring it up, but get the hits right. He got catfished by some random poster in the UK because they said they were a cute autistic girl that liked MDE. And there's no way he hasn't posted a thousand times since the show ended. Shit. Uh, I'm just rambling. Sorry, I didn't even take notes for what I wanted to say to you. But, like, um, yeah, Q was the net last nail in the coffin that made me decide to call you. I just wanted to prove to you that I'm superior in every way, shape, and form. I have an IQ of 105. I can bench 240. Uh, and I am more of a resilient and reliable man than he could ever imagine being. Oh, right. And get this. Like, check this out, okay? Wait. He's prefacing this. I'm going to mute my desktop just in case he says some words that will get me canceled for. I'm going to get canceled. <clears throat> Fuck. I don't want to get canceled, guys. My main machine runs Arch Linux, right? I'm not even. Wait, what? I'm kidding you. Uh, I just imagine being. Oh, right. And get this. Like, check this out, okay? My main machine runs Arch Linux, right? I'm not even kidding you. Uh, I swear. Like, I majored in cybersecurity, graduated with a master's degree, you know. I have a minor in graphic design and art. Okay, he was prefacing something pretty mid. I thought it was going to be way worse. I thought he was about to, like, drop, you know, drop the neighbor. But... and reliable man than he could ever imagine being. Oh, right. And get this. Like, check this out, okay? I muted it. I muted it because I thought he was about to, like, say a fucking bad one. My main machine runs our Linux, right? I'm not even kidding you. Uh, I swear. Like, I majored in cybersecurity, graduated with a master's degree, you know. I have a minor in graphic design and art history. I personally traveled to the Louvre and got to see the Mona Lisa from the back of the room. There's too many Chinese people in front of me. So. I already know someone who did that, bud. 
I could say who. If y'all really want me to. I know someone who, uh, has seen the Mona Lisa as well. At the Louvre. Who's also been to the British Museum. It, it's not that deep. Like, oh, it's not that yeah. crazy. Uh, I'm sure you're really busy with your live streams. Maybe we could play, like, Animal Crossing together sometime. I donated with my username as a super chat. Also, I know this already, like, rambling, but, like, about the Mona Lisa. It isn't anywhere near as big as they, like, try to show it on I do that. And TV. You can barely see it from the back of the room, like, all these Asians I knew are just that. obsessed with it. I knew that about the France. Asians. So I could see it yellow before you get close enough I to see the brush stroke. I knew that about the Asians. But anyways, like, I could DM you my username on Instagram again, but you'd need to accept the first message before I could send another. Like, I tried sending you a couple, but you never accepted the first one. Um, I'm not really sure if you're still listening or not, but just... To prove my worth to you, I have over 100 pictures of your shaven head stored on my hard drive. Not you with hair, but with your shaven bald head. But I'm not obsessed. He's in. He's out of luck tonight, guys. He's shit out of luck. He's shit out of luck. The wig's on tonight. Sorry, bud. <laughs> he wasn't wearing his skin. I know this guy's trolling, but it's like, it's too good. With you or anything. Like, that's just, to be completely clear, I just genuinely think you're beautiful. I mean, there's a couple of webms in there, too. Those are kind of like videos, but for 4chan. But anyways, I'm rambling again. Uh, I think we have a lot more in common than you and Q possibly could. And if you want to give me a chance, just give me a call back. I'll send you a text after I hang out. And, uh, I just, I just really like you, all right? Even if you're not interested in a relationship, I think we will be great friends. It'll be cool hanging out on my island and maybe being in Discord. I'm only a few hours away from Stephenville, so... <laughs> He's not! He doesn't even know how to say it! You can call back or at this number or text me. Uh, oh, great. I'll send you a picture of some of my art, but, yeah, just call or text me back. I'll uh, text you my phone number, too. Uh, goodbye, Taylor. Yeah, I was thinking it was old Jeffrey, too, because of the island uh, uh, statement. What do I even say to that? I knew the second one was trolling, but it's like... Yeah, a little vomit before the touch. Yeah, obviously, I did block the one that called. I'm not that fucking stupid. But, yeah, I'll just pray for them. I'm praying for you guys. <laughs> Bless your heart. I'm praying for you. <laughs> Fat white lump. Thank you for the five. Q lost, lol. Patriots rise up. Man. Do it. So what you're saying is do it for her? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll just let them keep doing it for her. Q 
Chud, thank you for the five. That first guy sounds like a real romantic. You should give him a chance. At least a symbol and beanie for him. <laughs> what kind of tricks are you guys playing on me? Yeah, how about those digests, right? Yeah. What do we think about Nebby's birthday, though? Are we happy about Nebby's birthday? But... Um... Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is with the first guy. It sounds too much like something I've heard before. Sounds a lot like that old kid named Elliot. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Is this what I wanted? Going out official? I knew! Stalker is content is Kino TVH. Happy birthday, Nevi. <laughs> Ronald88, thank you for the 10. Uh, stalker content is gonna turn in, into fucking... Uh, is that allowed to be said on YouTube? I don't know if it's allowed to be said. Uh, Chaotic.com content. That's what that shit's gonna turn into. If it turns into stalker content, it ain't gonna end in a pretty way. It's not gonna end... In a monetizable way. Sorry. <laughs> Taylor's voicemail reviews. <laughs> it's gonna turn. It's gonna turn into. You know what? Fuck it. It's two words. It's gonna turn. It's gonna end in a live leak type of way. It's gonna be ending pretty bad if we start the stalker shit. That's all I gotta say. When you blast away the 19-year-old, do it in front of the ring camera so we can see. That's a good one, dude. That's a good one. I, uh... <laughs> I, um... I feel like anywhere... If someone is going out of their way to call my phone number and leaving a public speech worth of time in a voicemail, I think, uh, you know, it just may not, uh, what's my number? Yeah, like, I'll give that out. But, um... I'm not, I ain't gonna, if you're trying to call somebody that you know is like, I don't want to call myself this, but I'm like, at this point now, I'm like a public figure. So, for someone to like, you know, stalk that hard, I mean, you're not stalking that hard, because it wasn't that hard to find, but like, you're calling and leaving voicemails bas basically begging me to be with you. I think that's not the way to, to it, you know, if you're trying to get pussy, that ain't the way to do it, bro. That ain't the way to do it. I'm a person. You're a person. Like, if you treat me with respect, I'll be chill with you. But if you call my number and leave a fucking love letter, I'm not going to respond. Because that's just... It's fucking weird. Yeah, we ain't nothing but mammals. We really are. We're fucking animals deep down. And when two animals originally meet, you know, like you meet, you introduce two dogs to each other, and one of your dogs is more, you know, uh, confrontational and upfront and tries to get in the other dog's face, the other dog doesn't like them. So, they fight back and they don't want to be around them because they annoy them. So, there's your answer to both of you. Even to the second guy who never sent the voicemail. Sure, thank you for the support. Keep doing it for her. But, you're not gonna get anywhere, bro, by doing that. That's, that's, 
that's the best analogy I'm gonna get. The stalker is Turkey Tom. I, that did not sound like Turkey Tom. But. Yeah, maybe they can have one another. That's a good one. Um. Um, this is nicotine, by the way. Hmm. W. Wade, thank you for the two super chat. You have it twisted. Q in and on is being sincere. What the fuck? <sighs> thank you for the five Q's. Q's was 100% real and genuine. I know you won't believe me, but I promise you he was being serious and you should take it seriously. Okay, well, okay. Whether Q was being for real or not, I sound he sounds like I could be his fucking ass. I'm gonna say that right now. Try me, Q. Try me, bro. Try me. You try to pull up on my motherfucking house, I'll whip your ass. And that's sincere. Don't be pulling up on my shit. Especially in Texas. You don't do that shit in Texas. You don't pull up someone's fucking house. <clears throat> Dr. Tetanus, thank you for the two. He's being sincerely autistic. Yeah, he's definitely being autistic as shit. No, Nebby's birthday's not ruined. I'm just here. I'm ready. I'm ready to protect my fucking cats, okay? What if he has a killdozer? I don't give a fuck. I'll build my own killdozer first. Fuck the system. I'll build my own killdozer. And I'll kill his dozer. I'll kill his killdozer. How about that? I'll... <laughs> I'll whip your monkey ass. <laughs> yeah, but for real. I will protect my fucking house. I'm not gonna let... A fucking 4chan dweeb. No offense to 4chan users out there. Sorry, guys. I'm not gonna let this fucking dweeb pull up and try to... Like, <laughs> tame me. <laughs> like, bruh. Just, like, keep keep that image of me in your head. Just keep it in your head. Don't pull up in real life. It ain't gonna happen. Let that... Let that, uh... You know, that... Imagination of me... Stay in your head. So, yeah. <laughs> Ever saw Fatty as my daddy. Thank you for the six, the six ninety. Uh, what do you feel about juice? Uh, I use iFunny. That should answer it for you. Um, thank you for the one ninety nine. Oh. Post tank lore shows that TJ and John found love with fellow contestants. Do you think love can bloom in the fish tank for a genuine retards like us? I am going to do everything to apply for season three as it might be my last chance. I, uh... If you're going in there for love, then you might as well not even join the fucking show. Like... Like, being in there and hearing people say they weren't there to win, that irked me. That irked me to the core. Because I was there to win. I was not there to have a romance. So if you're gonna go in there and try to just have a romance, 
And being a fan, they're probably not going to pick you. At least, that's my assumption. That's how I felt even when I applied. I, I was like, they're probably not going to pick me because they know that I'm a fan. But they probably actually won't pick you. So, sorry. Uh, JC said it too. But... Oh, uh... Thank you for the 10. Yeah, yeah, that was the one I was talking about. Uh, Brocklanders, thank you for the 5. Put this towards a Sig Pete 365. You got the money. Thank you, man. <laughs> thank you. Um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed to read these older ones. Yep, thank you. Uh, thank you for the five. You clearly didn't lurk long enough. QAnon hasn't talked about any antics other than trying to actually meet you. This wasn't planned by Bant. Most of us hate him. What alerted you to start lurking in the first place? Well, first of all, if y'all are from Bant right now and y'all are trying to, like, deter me right now, I can't trust you motherfuckers. I know how the internet works. I was being gaslit for six weeks. I think I'm gonna... I'll wait until I see what it, with my own eyes. I'll go lurk. I'll, I'll do my lurking. And I'll find out the answers myself. Because I do not... I do not trust what you motherfuckers are trying to say to me right now. And if they are my fans, like, I appreciate it and all, but... You know, trying to, trying to like do this shit ain't gonna work. Gaslighted, gaslit, whatever the fuck. I hate using that term, but that's like the term everybody uses now. It's annoying. Same with Kino. I don't use the word Kino, but everything on the internet is fake. <laughs> Good even tied, Texas lady. FSC 89, I'm not going to play that game, but thank you for the $10. <laughs> Good God. <sighs> Good even tied. Thank you, Uncle Bendrick. Oh. Yeah, and uh, thank you for the five. I meant seriously, like, be cautious. Kid is messed up. He claims he isn't autistic, by the way. LMAO. Yeah, I'm not scared of him. Honestly, I'm really not scared of him. So. You know, if he wants to be silly and he wants to try to test me, then, you know. That'll be an L on his end. No, I'm not gonna do Q's Q and A. I feel like I can't trust it. That's the thing. You know, if he wasn't being weird about it, maybe I would have. Maybe I would have. But if he wasn't being fucking weird about it, then I maybe I would. How about that digest for real? How about that digest? <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to start that fund. Thank you, Schmitty911, for the 10. Tay, where's the anti-simp gun fund? You should be strapped at all times, seriously. I know. It's on the way. Don't worry. All right. I think it's time for the digest, honestly. <laughs> How's it? That's fucking wild. After all that. 
All right, no more voicemails. <laughs> no more voicemails. I'm sick of them. I'm sick of them. Oh, I need to change my uh, output real quick. Hold up. Oh God. All right, guys. Here we go. What? Why is it not coming through my headphones? Of course this happens. Of course this happens. Dude, this is whack. The desktop is unmuted. Okay, I'm gonna have to play it through my speakers, I guess. I don't want to have to, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to. Let's see. morning, Vance approaches Brian and Trish and tells them that the audience feels a natural connection between them and they should spend quality time together, then gives Brian a mistletoe. They bring pancakes to bedroom three and get comfortable together. Jimmy's journal, where he keeps his eggnog recipe and various other notes, is missing and he thinks someone took it. He douses himself with cologne and comes for Trish. Whoa! This is crazy. Can you fucking show oh up? What are you telling yourself? It's Christmas. Megan shouts, thanks for ruining Christmas, and Dude, fumes that... to the others that he smokes too much and won't shut up. That it... smelled so bad. It smelled so bad when, uh... When Jimmy did that with the cologne. That was wild. That was absolutely wild. Later finds where it was hidden. Once the judge arrives, yeah, I miss the Meg for real. Play Meg was real. <laughs> of course. Away in the manger, no crib for a bed. Speaking of Turkey Tom, how does that dork not realize how awful his stupid hair looks? God, I hate that dude. God, I loved A. Show nips. No. I don't even know that much about Turkey Tom. But little Lord Jesus. Jesus laid down his sweet head. Jimmy wins $1,000 in a landslide for his contribution to the play. The hogtie challenge is next. The fish must untie themselves and race to their presence. The last one to get theirs loses their chips. The Christmas spirit is really in effect here as irate fish begin piling onto each other with insults while they're repeatedly tied and retied. Haley targets Jimmy for talking too much, blaming him when the producers duct tape everyone's hands and telling him over and over to shut up. The audience votes nearly unanimously to muzzle Jimmy. When Jimmy very nearly places last, his anger explodes. Oh, What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, yeah, that's so. Uh... There you go, Mr. Jimmy. Very nice. Come on. Say, fuck you. Fuck you! None of this was because of me! Retard! Shut the fuck up, Jimmy. Fuck you too, bitch! Shut the fuck what up. Happens? Dumbass. Don't fuck with me right now. Don't fuck with me right yeah, now. Okay, contain yourself, retard. Contain yourself. Oh, Christ. CK, a woman who Brian dated for many years and only broke up with last month, is revealed to be Brian's Christmas surprise. The other fish open their gifts. What is that there? It's a prickle heart. Oh, mate. Right. Ben receives a birthday cake from his mom in front of all the fish. Happy 40th fucking birthday, Ben. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ben. Yeah, Meg was so real. Happy She's birthday real to you. Then Jimmy discovers someone has put sesame sauce in the eggnog and breaks glass in the kitchen out of anger. Dude. Megan begins to say she wants to leave. So the judge sits with her and tells her they'd like her to stay. 
She explains to Jet that Jimmy throwing the chair and throwing the eggnog scared her a lot. Chris Lynch rushes to the house and she mellows out with him for hours. Jimmy tells TJ he's feeling fucking done and is tired of the others blaming him when they struggled to get themselves free. Taylor comes and apologizes for antagonizing him and says things have escalated too fast. Shinji brings him a cigarette and tells him he'll always help. Sorry guys, just it, it was too Yeah, much. I can understand. Yeah, it was it's... too much Get, getting blamed for everything during the hog tying competition and yeah. it's like that bad sense like that's just fuck. Yeah, that's super frustrating yeah. to me also, yeah. Good lord. Brian and CK sit down with Trish to tell her Brian's relationship with Trish is yeah, over. Cold, Brian explains that he broke up with CK because he was dragging her down just one month ago after dating her since he was 19. Brian says the second he saw CK, he was done pretending to date Trish. CK says he needs to leave because the house is making him regress. Cole bursts in and dances around behind them. Brian and CK talk in private and eventually make oh, out shit. when Trish springs from the bathroom and dumps the poop and dead bird that she received among her gifts on the pair. She, she tells them she and Brian him. had sex. I mean, the night they hid in the closet. Ben guards CK and Brian while Trish torments them from downstairs. Go home with your bitch! Show her how loyal you are! Just before Scott leaves the fish in Aikido, Jimmy agrees to pay TJ and Taylor in cash to help him clean the shit in their shared bedroom, oh. now somewhat returned to his emotional baseline. He apologizes to Megan and says it all got to be too much for him. But I did want to let you know I am sincerely sorry. That wasn't anything against you. Y'all take care. Love you. No homo. Bye-bye. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. He talks to Taylor and Cole about his suspicions that CK is a traditional freeloader, not an innocent Jerry Springer-type walk-on. The karate lesson begins. Megan opts out because she is tired. Jimmy opts out because there is mayo on his uniform, and he's too angry. He yaps endlessly to CK like Vernon from Psychonauts, and she eventually apologizes because she was actually the one who sabotaged his eggnog. Vernon <laughs> kicks the door open and says he can't leave the show like this and wants her to wait for him at home because he can't go out this way. I'm walking in. I'm not letting this be for nothing. He says he wants her to go home because he will not. He says the harassment will never end if he leaves humiliated. You, you know damn well that's true, though. If you go out like this and they find your shit, it's never gonna end. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, look at... <laughs> look at Morrow. Look at Morrow. Look at fucking look, Morrow. Look at Simmons. After hours spent trying to improve her mood, Bert committed to leaving. Dude, I saw a fucking edited picture of this exact moment. If y'all have seen it, that's a good one. I thought that was funny. And also, I hated that this is how Meg left. I wish we could have said bye. The fish are lined up so that she can make a shameful exit without any goodbyes. Despite her daring and her surprising willpower and the multi-hour love bomb from Chris Lynch, Bert cited her fear of Jimmy as her reason for leaving. An editorial word on moral fagging. If we agree that fish can do anything that Sam Hyde the actor can do in his role as the host, then I have to point to Goldstriker tossing a drawer through the garage after John tried to rip Letty's passport and call no foul. The glass was excessive, though, because it's dangerous and hard to clean. Jimmy, who may be the first straightforward fish-on-fish -fish murderer in the history of Fish Tank, calls for the genocide of Mormons and otherwise seems unapologetic. We're monsters of their own creation. <laughs> Afterwards, Jimmy warns Brian he will need to talk to CK one-on-one -on -one and can't tell him why. Brian says Jimmy doesn't have to warn him if he's using his girlfriend against him. It's a game. Jimmy says it's for Brian's own good. CK heads upstairs with Jimmy, but enters B3 with Columbo. I guess bottom line is, come on to your game. You leave me out of it. You go for the weaker hearts. I'm all for some extra people leaving to buy some great spirit. Some nice golden weeks where we don't have to sweat too much. For real oyster head. And obviously I can't say that in front of Brian because if people were to pick up that, well, your vision Jimmy would crack fail, corn. Be thrown out of here. Yeah, don't worry about nothing. I don't want to leave. You don't want to leave. That much is clear. But we got understanding. And again, it's something personal. No, I know. I totally know what you're saying. I do. I feel like we have to have an understanding of each other, Jimmy. The issue they are trying to dispel is whether CK is the Jerry Springer type of guest she is portraying or a freeloader who is tasked with fucking with them. 
Jimmy successfully has her admit she is the latter and blackmails her into leaving him and his friends alone. Chris Lynch opens the bar. Several TTSs question if TJ and Taylee are a thing yet. Their reactions are hard to read, but TJ has been following her around a lot today. At the end of the evening, Jimmy and Brian tried to hide a conversation in the din at the bar. Luckily, your intrepid reporter clipped it, and adjusting the audio can't possibly save it. I can paraphrase to the best of what I could make out. Brian to Jimmy says he came so close to leaving today. Brian brings up the topic of freeloaders and questions what CK's role is. They say that certain courses of action aren't fair to her depending on how she is positioned, and Jimmy says he isn't above shitting in his hand and throwing it. Jimmy says he needs to write Brian a note. Brian replies that no matter how the game shakes out, quote, in a platonic way, I love you, man. Jimmy returns with the note, and after no reading homo. it, they stand and hug emotionally. Jimmy says, I don't want to feel the fire. No, you're fine, you're man. But I did like a six years of cross country, so I'm kind of a... Brian replied that he doesn't want Jimmy to get angry again like he did today. He's too good for it. Jimmy burns the note. We obviously don't know for sure what was on the note, but I think the gist is that he understands she is motivated to fuck with him. Trisha has been forced to clean B2 due to the community service fish toy. Jimmy, Our I think I know what you wrote on that. I think I remember Jimmy, and I see you in chat. I think I know what you wrote, Jimmy. Jimmy appears and startles her. He tells her that they're all in it together, as squidwoods, and that he doesn't blame her for her behavior today. Like, I was going to let you know, like, I'm really I'm sorry about what happened to you, and like, that shit wasn't right. And like, I just want you to know it's like, man, it's like similar shit. No, I was telling CK that literally right before I came here, I went through the same shit. Like. I was fucking with this dude, and all of a sudden, he has a girlfriend, and, like, it was really fucked up, and, like... It's like you're just tired of being used, you know? Yeah, and it's really hurtful, and... It's like you just want someone to fucking care about you for you, man, and it's like, I fucking get that. And I thought it was, like, really genuine, and, I think like, this is when Jimmy was I drunk. I looked up to him as, like, someone I could talk to, and, like, all of that, and... I mean, shit, Jimmy's man. trying to like, crack like, corn. It's like the rest of your tattoos weren't from my fucking eyes. So like, I. That time was also really bad because he woke me up that night. Well, I was like. The rest of the fish talk about waiting for Cole to be eliminated soon while he is passed out in the doghouse, but Shinji checks up on him. I did the. You you pooped. The rocket. Yeah. Jimmy charges downstairs for doll activity after eating spaghetti with his hands. Production is dead set on Good boy, Jimmy, get that spaghetti. Good boy, finger food. Good Jimmy, Jimmy, good boy, spaghetti boy. Good boy, Jimmy, Jim, good. TJ takes him back upstairs and tucks him in for a second time. I put a blanket over here. Come on. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, you're... I don't want you to survive in the last 100%, 100 years, okay? Yeah. Don't so, want me to survive, I understand. So, Jimmy isn't an actor, he's an artist. Don't put this over your head, okay? Don't, don't put this over your head. Uh -huh. I swear. Don't kill yourself over this. I won't Because I'll feel bad, and I won't kill myself, too. Okay. So, if you gotta throw up, yeah. just put this over... But don't do that. Over my mouth. If you if you don't have to throw up, don't do it. Don't do it. That's what don't. I'm saying. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah. This is okay. Okay. This is like so just just so you know. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate that. But just, just so you know, this plastic bag's right here mm -hmm. in case you throw up. I understand. Don't do that. Don't unless. I understand. Yeah. You're good. You're good. TJ, I wanted to see you pregnant. This is like <laughs> one clue. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like one flew over the cuckoo's nest. That's a good one. That was a good one. I'm gonna read some comments. Damn. Good boy, Jimmy. <laughs>
Oh. Oh, uh, Durka Durka5245, thank you for the $5. Tay, the merchant of Dallas. Lower prices, you trad Sheiksa. Can you do an AR-15 fund after? Also, if you like Meshuga, try listening to Opeth. Listen to Harlequin Forest. Try the whole song since it changes a lot throughout. Okay, I'll check that out. Thank you for the five. Oysterhead, thank you for the five. Hey ho, good thing the swatting didn't happen when you were bound on Christmas. I know, right? <laughs> that could have sucked. That could have been so bad. Uh, Airsoft Fatty is my daddy. Thank you for the two dollars. I literally hated Jimmy's voice. It's the worst. <laughs> well, shit. Damn, we got Greg and Jimmy in the chat. Hell yeah. Grimmy it up. Grimmy it up. I know I was tied during the swatting. I was just taped, though. I wasn't hog-tied. That's what I was thinking, Jimmy. It, it, it's a classified note. But hell yeah. Grimmy it up. We got Greg, we got Jimmy in the chat. Let's go. We got Jimmy and Greg in the chat. Grimmy it up. Grimmy it up. All right. Greg gang. The Jimsters and the the Jimsters and the Gregors. The Jimsters and the Gregors. Is it better? Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll do this. Hi, Nelly. Let's go. Day nine. <laughs> In the morning, Brian pushes Jimmy to begin scheming against Cole in earnest. Jimmy worries Cole has a behind-the-scenes advantage. Because you gotta also think back, like to season one, where it's like, obviously I can't get you everything, but it's like, you're a judge's favor, then that's gonna help you get far. Mm. Yeah. That might give you some wiggle room to like fuck around. Brian wants to steal Cole's chips because Cole feels untouchable. Jimmy says Cole saw how he confronted JC and how much anger he has and has stopped bothering him and that even elementary school insults will work. Brian complains that Taylee has said she doesn't want to take sides. They consider using a cologne bomb again. Jimmy asks if Brian has it in him to be mean to Cole, to force him to sit down, sit still, for Jimmy's sake. Jimmy asks him if their alliance is sincere and he says yes. So CK apologizes to Brian, who warns her to smarten up, saying, Do you really want these conversations recorded? He kisses her on the cheek, then scolds her for being insecure about pretending to be in a relationship, telling her, I love you, calm the fuck down. Trish is ordered to teach TJ to twerk when La Bembo Dominican plays, because oh, there's God. not enough women in the tank. Judge arrives and announces the women's liberation challenge. Oh. While Jimmy finally completes his eggnog in the foreground, the women must order the men around. Jimmy, look, wait, the best oh, man and women. Jimmy looks like Gypsy Crusader with his hair slicked. <laughs> that was a good one. We'll win separately, and the worst fish quote may be at risk for elimination. Partners scrambled over the course of the challenge. I need a little, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a bender. Come on, I need something. I need something. Yes, Molly. How else am I supposed I to stand here? What the? This better be some good shit, because it's looking oh, like shit right like now. I want you to roll to the drive. Roll to the drive. Mm hmm. I, did I stutter? Yeah. What's it? Get on your hands and knees! Man, I feel like beating somebody today. What? You're really the worst fucking house husband I've ever met. Yes, 
Even though I really want to kill you, I guess. I told I guess you, you my girlfriend for coming over. me. And, you know, same thing my face, but they sure as hell say it to my other friends. I need to keep up appearances. This is very fucking important to me, and I feel like you're not taking it seriously. I am taking it seriously. I am taking it seriously, Spike Master. I'm sorry. I sacrificed so much for you. You did, and it wasn't. It wasn't worth it. I didn't deserve any any sacrifices for someone like me. You've been a fucking mess, dude. That's, that's all right, eat that, then you get it. I'm warming up to it. I really did hate that. He doesn't touch me. My, I, uh, I hate him, though. Oh, my God. I mean, let's just treat it like gum. Just chew it up. Yeah, that's Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want you to chew it for... Chew it? For at least a minute. Come on. Come on, keep it in your mouth. Come on. What was he making Come on. the beat? I felt so bad. I felt so bad doing this to Shinji. And every time I'd say I'm sorry to him, he would like say back up to me, like kind of quiet. He'd be like, no, it's okay. It's like porn. It's just like porn. And I was like, no, this is not what I'm trying to do. Like, God damn. You better find one. Man. Afterwards, the judge takes the boys to the bar for a talk about women. Buzz of, of romance, that doesn't help you if, you if you're, like, hit with back taxes or something. The girls tell the judge that the worst slave was Cole. Judge then instructs Trish to attempt to make Cole break. As she amps up the abuse in the kitchen, he backtalks her and tries to get out of the things she asks him to do, even things the other boys will, like twerking. Trish asks him, do you want to go home? And Cole says, maybe, I'm still thinking. The judge holds a group session. The conversation is meant to be serious and real and goes on for several hours. I'll just pick out some interesting developments, but clipping it in this format is fairly awkward. Jimmy apologizes for eliminating Meg and says he was yelling because he was in pain and frustrated, not because he wanted to upset her. Production asks Jimmy if he is a member of an alliance to kick Cole off, and Jimmy says no. Ben tells him they already know about the conversation he had this morning. Brian says his reputation is more important than repairing his relationship with CK and doesn't understand why she would let herself get tricked into coming on the show. This he was says so because smart. he and CK keep breaking up, she's evidently not the woman he wants to have for the, the rest of his life. The therapy was so smart. The entire cast opinion. is asked who they trust least, and they all say Cole. They say he is condescending, defensive. He is always one-upping them and giving advice that they can't use because, as Brian puts it, they can't just ask family, as he always suggests, for help. Cole says the show needs an asshole, and the judge says this isn't the biggest asshole competition. The judge says Cole has a personality problem that is made evident in how the rest of the fish do not like him. He does mention Cole is currently safe from elimination. 
and also says it's possible the other fish are just envious of his financial situation. Oh yeah, I bet, A.B. Trying to take notes during all this? Suck. The subject returns to Brian at the end, with Brian telling C.K. she made a stupid decision and her bursting into tears. After the session, Jimmy imposes on her isolation in the crawl space to comfort her and speak in Brian's defense. As always, oh. his deep voice makes it impossible for him to whisper. I can clearly see that like you really do care about him and that you want him to win this. He loves you more than you realize. I swear to you. The judge meets with CK there just after and says CK is popular and that the chat is saying CK it up. They're saying no, CK man. it up. I'll spell it out for autistic friends in the audience. This one's a gaslight. He says there's a $10,000 prize for best freeloader if she wants to hang out. She agrees to stay longer. Afterwards, the judge takes Cole aside and says, You know these people suck and are crazy, right? Um, yes. Okay. I'm a trust fund kid, too. They always want to knock you down a fucking peg. They always want to make you, like... I'm a trust... Wait. <laughs> he said, I'm a trust fund kid, too. Did he just say that? Um, yes. Okay. I'm a trust fund kid, too. <laughs> they always want to knock you down a fucking peg. They always want to make you, like, my life so profound because I whatever had to work an actual job. Fuck all that. Okay. I think, too, but I... You know. Fuck these people. Is he actually a trust fund kid? Is that true? He's actually tr okay. Well, either fucking way. Either way. Not everybody acts like it, though. That's the thing. But that's funny. Win this. Or do whatever you want, but don't listen to that shit. Hogwash. Simply hogwash. Cole says that Brian is worth $11 an hour and that all the other fish are jealous of him. He says everyone gets what they deserve, and if you are born into a shitty life situation, you deserve it. He resents TJ and Shinji for stating they trust him least when he trusts them most. He commits to eliminating Brian next, Wait. to... Did he really say if you were born in a shitty situation, you deserve it? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. None of us asked to be born. To be fair. To be fair. Like, if say if you're growing up in a shitty situation and then you come out of it, that's one thing. But if you're a fucking child who is stuck with parents that can't feed you, you're a child. You don't deserve that. Just saying. Assert dominance. Cole receives a cake I hope with it candles. Was a joke. All the fish congratulate him, even though he says. Snack delivery. Snack delivery for Cole. Round of applause, everybody. <laughs> it's not my birthday. Oh, what? No. When's your birthday? <laughs> um, April eighteenth. Jimmy and Taylee wonder why the judge said Cole is safe from elimination. Jimmy says whoever came dead last in the women's liberation competition was supposed to be at risk of elimination. And Cole clearly failed, but wasn't eliminated. Taylor tells him that Cole received a trench coat in a loot crate, and Mr. Colombo Mode wonders why he gets to have the trench coat. Jimmy is set about a familiar task. He must build a shelf. He loses his patience when he hurts himself until Shinji comes to calm him. That's how that Brian joins because he's bored. And TJ comes because production threatened to put him in a dress again and make him join the wine party Chris is hosting for the girls. Jimmy is paid in chips for the building Brian the table system. and thanks the other guys for doing most of the work and preventing him from destroying the house by paying them all the chips he receives. A spin the bottle competition happens. TJ wins after licking Cole's feet, licking Jimmy's armpit, smoking three cigarettes at once and dumping the vacuum on his head. Ben returns after spin the bottle and dresses the boys down. He makes them return their chips for building a flimsy shelf and calls Jimmy retarded for breaking the toy chest with the hammer. It's reality. Are you mad or are you retarded? It's <laughs> That's too good. That's 
that's too good. Oh my god. Seeing that clip after the fact was so fucking funny. Yeah, Ben is so funny. It was so funny that, uh, the way it played out with the metal in the wood. I wish it would have shown that more, the metal in the wood. Um. Hmm. Thank you, Dr. Tetanus, for the two. Fellas, please lift. Felt compelled to send this. Uh, thank you, Rob's Media, for the $5 super chat. Tay, will you fight Nifty in Creator Clash 3? Rip, I cook. <laughs> uh, yeah. I probably would. <laughs> if, the, if the opportunity was put in front of me, I would, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Nah, because then I... Nah. Because she'd be all stinky and shit. I think that was real. That not. I think that that was real stench. She actually did not bathe. Um, thank you for the five dollars. You completely misunderstand the Sam X Cole clip. He was being honest and hated all of you at that point. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. That actually does make sense. You guys looked like assholes attacking him in group. Cole was supposed to win before he spurged out. I may not like it, but this was the truth, nuke. Yeah, that could kind of make sense. <laughs> That could make sense. And even then, like... I just, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Because it's like, I get it. Like... Um... They probably did. They probably were annoyed by us at that point. Yeah, yeah, Ali, with that, what you just said. Yeah, like, I felt like I had fair criticism of Cole when I did criticize him in this dog pile. And even at that point in the game, I was playing every side. I mean, like, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to have sides picked. Because I knew it was gonna, shit was gonna hit the fan. And trying to team up with people was gonna turn eventually. So... But, yeah, you know, I was just, uh, what's done is done. Can't be undone. Oh, Ekaj with the two super chat. Taytree here, be absolutely sighted with Brian. Even if I was being sided with Brian, I knew he was gonna do shit. Like, I knew he was going to do shit. Junk fist with the five? No. We don't. We don't know how my belt and that pair of spandex got out of my bag. We don't know. But, who the fuck cares at this point? I mean, it got, it got worse as time went on anyways, so, who the fuck cares? Uh, Dr. Ten is thank for the two dollars, fellas. Use learn to use a hammer. He's got a point. Fish tank was in a CIA operated 
uh, business. <laughs> Day 10! I did apologize to Cole. First thing in the morning for the fish, by which I mean almost 2 p.m., in his room. Says he thinks CK is an actress. Then he announces that he would like to leave. It's just not who I am. It's not who I am. It's not who I want to be. Still, I'm very thankful for- I apologize to Cole the night we did Truth or Dare with- Or no, Spin the Bottle. Like the Spin the Bottle Truth or Dare. I apologize to him then. For getting to come on this show. I respect the creators very much. But- He makes several demands, including the return of JC, a venti americano, and some paint to convince him to stay. Several fish overhear that Cole is leaving from outside his room, but make no attempt to stop him. A production TTS comes through saying, Noble Six fought until the fucking end. You're killing us, Cole. You have to show the people that we can be courageous too, which causes him to change his mind. Jet brings him an Xbox with Halo <laughs> on it. Trish, Brian, Jimmy, CK, and Shinji, having already heard that Cole was on his way out, plan to destroy the Xbox until production tells them they may not. The judge meets with Cole and says he can't leave and says the other fish conspiring proves that they're jealous pores. He says that Cole gets the most snacks and is one of the most endorsed fish because people hate all the other fish. He also adds that JC will be coming back. <laughs> the fish send Shinji in because he's the most believable spy for them. Judge says Cole can decide what type of training they will do today and he mandates that he and Shinji will do kickboxing. Jet takes TJ aside and asks if he and Cole are the only ones who notice that CK is an actor, and TJ says he didn't notice that at all. This drives TJ to wonder if his ally Brian is an actor also. He approaches Taylor, who doesn't agree. In classic fashion, Judge beats on Cole during kickboxing, and then Jimmy and Cole spar. Jimmy fights like a baby. This was for the Cole shorts. Gets some bumps due to his lack of technique. This was he over the shorts. When he hurts his hand 100% the over Cole the shorts. returns to his room and discovers his clothes are destroyed and blames production, even though it was Trish acting on her own. He says he has it hardest in the house of anyone and that where he's from, <laughs> people don't need to fight. He says production beat him up on purpose and that the audience wanted to see him get fucked up, mm. like Gold Striker beat up on John. Mm. He continues with the season one comparisons. Like, you know, comparable. Anyway, um, there's no John this season. Like, if there was, it would be TJ. But TJ is, TJ is a little more reserved than John. Naming all the contestants and trotting out drama until the judge comes in. <coughs> what do you do? Bring uh, Halo 3. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey. <laughs> Are you talking about season one? Um... Yeah. Stop. Do you need further instruction? I'll stop. I'll let myself out if that's okay with you. <laughs> that's so hey, funny. Hey, uh, can we please get you to clean up your mess and clear all your stuff? We got your replacement coming in right now. Perfect. <laughs> Cole is the John. Oh God. <laughs> Turns out the end. He liked jizz. Once Cole has left, the judge takes TJ aside and explains that CK is an actress, paid a flat rate. He says not to trust Brian. TJ asks how many actors are in the tank, and judge says at least two. The fish are told to build cardboard forts to prepare for a guest. Our old friend Chip arrives and settles in Jimmy's fort Chip. because it's got headroom. The judge gathers the fish and warns them that one of the other fish is a paid actor and raises the grand prize to $45,000. He announces a new competitor will join, a content queen. Her name is Nifty, and she's 32. He confirms the existence of paid actors in the tank to everyone. Immediately after the meeting, Jimmy requests Brian come aside so he can trauma dump in private about kindergarten. They step into B3 together. Brian only has a trauma dump. Okay, so what are you saying, 
Christian. Jane Trish might be actors. Trish is way too comfortable and familiar with them. And then one time she talked to me about how she used to FaceTime Chris and Daniel. Well, I mean, look, I used to fucking FaceTime Mara. They think Trisha is an actor because she seemed familiar with Nifty, so Jimmy agrees to interrogate Nifty. The interrogation is oddly flirty, as he raises points about her that seem suspicious to him. He notices she can't name what she is famous for on the internet, and that she seems to be masking her sense of humor. Well, you know, uh, do I have any of the season clothes, season two clothes that I wore? I have the striped gray and black striped shirt and the blue shorts I wore on the finale. Those are the only clothes I have. I was going to have my suit that I wore on the finale shipped to me. And I was going to put it in a shadow box. <laughs> She does look like Eggman for real. I'm glad y'all liked my drip. I'm glad y'all liked my drip for real. The 70s theme was everything to me. Wait, what did she say? Show is one of your talents. Do something good, Seeing his attention, he is tasked by production with, quote, bulldogging Nifty like a Georgetown Hoya for $1,000. She goes to bed before he has a chance to. TJ approaches Tay and says he's so paranoid and asks her, Are you an actor? How can I tell? How can I prove it? TJ has Tay recite her life story, and he recites his, in an effort to prove that they can trust one another. A TTS asks them to kiss, and they agree that they won't. The the plushie! The plushie, guys! The plushie! Rip. Rip, for real. Dude, this was wild. When TJ was, like, having me say this to him, I was like, how the fuck can he think I'm an actor? Like, how the fuck could he think I'm an actor for real? And, like, uh, he, he wouldn't believe me. And I was like, TJ, you gotta believe me, dude. You have to believe me. Like, what the fuck? Like, you're gonna think that I'm a, an actor? Seriously? Because they are bros. They think CK and Nifty are actors and notice that neither TJ nor Taylee have been pulled aside for missions before. They decide that by pretending to be dating, it will prevent the other fish from targeting them. Jimmy finds Shinji hiding in the doghouse, and Jimmy reminisces about Summer, Fucking who said she Chip. thought everyone was actors. Chip shouts, Yeah! yeah, yeah. These guys are not actors. I can fucking prove my employment. They're not actors. Jet brings the fish downstairs and announces the beef mechanic. Contestants can duel, and the loser must stay in the doghouse for 24 hours or be eliminated. Brian and CK must beef as they have been fighting non-stop. CK and Brian have a yelling match, and Brian loses the beef because Brian kissed Trish and Shinji kissed CK, so Brian offers to be chained. Jimmy deteriorates badly over the night. <coughs> Shuffling around after Trish for reassurance, crying at times, Screaming in the bathroom in doubt after Trish offers to hang out. What the fuck? What the fuck? She never talked to me like that. I want to believe what's happening. Dude, this is when he was drunk. And mentions that something finally will happen Friday. Fucking end of this. Meanwhile, a new camera, the attic, has finally become active. <laughs> Did they actually check us for lice? I forgot. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, that's crazy. I wish, like, I, um... 
I was wondering what was up with, like, the stuff in the attic. Like, I had never... I had never, uh... I mean, only a few times was I pulled up there... Wasn't the attic supposed to be some arg? Arg? Arc? I liked the attic thing. That was really cool. I liked the idea of them pulling us up there and, like, telling us to do stuff, though. Um. And I never really got the chance to do anything crazy. I understand, though, like, Sam pulled me up at one point and asked me if I was willing to do crazy shit, and I said no. Because I was still at the point of like, okay, I'm only going to strike when I really need to strike. But then it got to the point where I was just like, fuck it. But. Uh, yeah, I shaved my head and everything. <laughs> but like, shit. I was playing the long game, yeah. Voice chat with Jimmy. <laughs> Wait. Did... Yeah, I thought I thought I was going to Well, actually, I don't think I was going to get in trouble for the nifty check cuz I was like it was hard before I did it. But once I did it, I was like, dude, they just wanted to see if I'd do it. We need to get Liquid Tay for real. Liquid Tay, we're getting there. Liquid Tay it up. We need that Liquid Tay. Where's that liquid tay at? Rejoice! Soon we will seize the means of production from the autistic capitalist simps. The proletariat will... <laughs> the proletariat will prevail. Please accept these dillas as a token of my allegiance to the cause. Fight the corruption of cringe, comrade. We salute you. Thank you, sir. Hell yeah. Thank you. Liquid Tay is someone that we know. Someone that we know with red hair. Liquid Tay is someone that we know with red hair. And they have the item. Liquid Tay has the item, guys. And it's someone with red hair. We need to get to Liquid Tay, guys. We gotta release Liquid Tay. That way they can reveal the item. Yeah. Liquid A. <laughs> Fuck, 
it's because it's censored. Thank you, butt, for the 25. Fuck the proletariat. Kate, capitalists always on top. Hell yeah. Let's go. We got the Red Bull. Liquid Tay will become in existence as we watch these digests. And we're on day 11, guys. Can we believe it? Dude. Come on. Q and on. Q and ain't on. Come on, man. Do it for her. Do it for her. Damn, if only I was normal and donated hundreds of dollars to Tay so I can talk to her on Discord once a week. Oh, what a fool I was to try to reach out to her without paying her first. First and last super chat. You think I'm a troll? Makes me sick. See ya. Hey, bud. I don't talk to anybody on Discord. Thank you very much. And uh, you're the only person that's tried to reach out to me through phone number. So... Liquid Tay It Up. Hell yeah. Liquid Tay It Up. Thank you, Chud, for the 25. Let's go. Day 11. Hell yeah. Thank you, Big Strong Boss. Brian is released from the doghouse at noon and says he will remember those who checked on him and those who didn't. TJ goes through the motions of apologizing to Brian for having doubted him on the word of the judge. In private, TJ says he will beat Brian at his own game. Ben puts Brian and CK on the spot and says, Okay, one of you guys is going home in 30 minutes. CK commits to going home, and the fish also vote unanimously for CK to go. The fish find a document left by production, ranking them by social media popularity. There's some doubt about the validity of the document, but considering it ranks TJ highly, he rolls with it and thanks his fans and the TJ Maxer group chat. Ben warns the fish that someone new will arrive today, so Nifty must teach everyone how to behave better. Nifty says the girls are not likable. She says Jimmy's language is too strong, and the TTS shouts her down and showers him in ciggies. She says TJ looks too nervous, and the TTS shouts her down again. They warn her she doesn't know what she is getting into. Taylor spends a good amount of the evening arguing with the audience that she is not boring or closed off, like Nifty said. A new contestant is introduced for the first time ever. Taylor, a 21-year-old from South Florida who will get to pay rent later in January than the rest. Jimmy is pulled aside with Nifty for a therapy session where she and production ask him to tone down the trauma dumping and abrasive language. She asks if he's worried about repercussions for whistleblowing all the time, and he says no. She asks if maybe it worries him that his language makes him unlikable, and he says it makes him likable to the right people. She says listening to him, she is starting to agree. The judge talks to TJ and Taylor. The judge acts as TJ's wingman, telling him how to assure her. Jed announces there will be coffee in the morning and hard bedtimes when there's nothing going on for the sake of the audience. He opens the bar and kicks off a Pong challenge. The winner gets a shot and chips. Jimmy dominates, but also gets shithoused. While others are playing, Brian and Taylor are taken aside by Judge and asked, are you willing to fuck people over? Taylor says no. Brian says he has thrown his moral compass away for the show. So Judge says, prove it. Trish is taken aside for a lice check. Behind the ears, I thought she might be anemic. Let me check her. Trish? Maybe like tilt so the camera can see him. Careful, careful. I got scissors. Here, careful. No, no, please. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you look way better. You're gonna kill you. You look better. <laughs> oh. Don't. Stop. You want some of this, Ben? No. Oh my god. I gotta go to my other reality show that I've Sam! I gotta Get go in here! Show. I can't. Dude, no, I felt this is so bad. Bro. I gave him those scissors. I gave him those scissors because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. 
I had no idea what was going on. And then I, he asked for scissors and I gave him scissors. Not take the judge's hat. Why oh, not? Because something very bad will happen if you start stealing from the judge. Drop the water. No, 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 no. Drop your blood splatter. No, no. Give me that. What's the news? No, it's not. I already am. Well, I want you extra ball. You're gonna look like me when you grow up. You better. You better be scared next time you show your face around. <laughs> Jimmy quickly hugs Trish when she escapes, too fast without asking. Downstairs, the fish circle around Trish and tell her that production was wrong for cutting her hair without permission. Trish tells them the experience almost gave her a panic attack. Nifty wonders if what happened was in violation of the contract. <laughs> Judge takes her aside again to let Trisha cut his hair and tell her this moment will help her get support. The judge says Nifty broke NDA by mentioning the contract, then tells her to count some rice. <laughs> she guesses there's 42069 grains and goes to bed. She is visited in the night by various guests. Ben takes her aside for a pep talk, where he tells her to hold tight because the plan will come together in her favor. Jimmy finds her hiding in the bunker, and an honest pep talk turns foul. The reason that they did it. Jimmy, if you don't touch her thigh, you're out of the show. I'm sorry, <gasps> that sounded like production. <laughs> the one thousand five hundred dollar mission Jimmy received yesterday was to get something more serious than a kiss from Nifty. Nifty goes to bed early. The fish are offered two hundred chips to make Nifty say nigger. She complains I mean, that being deprived of sleep is neighbor. physical torture. Speaking of physical torture, when they leave. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you're like hurting me. Well, I didn't mean to squeeze that part. Carrot, 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 fish game. Home, Jimmy, Jimmy crack corn. One K of a lot, Jimmy. Okay, can can you go now, please? Sure. Yes. Okay. Thank you for respecting my boundaries. Okay. Hey, do you consent to Jimmy hugging on you? Uh, no, I just told him to, to leave. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> sorry, pal. I'm oh, sorry. Good night, Jimmy. Judge rounds Jimmy up and explains consent to him, warning him that he has to stop. Okay, well, from now on, before physical touch is even initiated, we got to get that verbal consent. I see. Okay. I understand. And um, I think if you if you play by those rules, we'll avoid jail time. We'll have a bunch of happy campers over here, and uh, no Simmons reference intended, and we'll have a good old-fashioned time. Yeah, them and fucking with Nifty in bed was funny. The pizza yeah, party was like, hilarious. That's why you saw me like, players like, hey, yo, yeah, I don't want this. It's like For sure, but maybe next time, before the physical touch is initiated, just get them to say they want it. Judge sends Taylor to interview Jimmy about sex. He says nothing criminal or Simmons to you, oh, but reveals too much about his fetishes and experiences. If he had revealed something unforgivable, presumably it would have been over for him, but he mostly seems to paint a picture of someone who has sex while drunk a lot and looks at anime porn. He snarls a few times at her, telling her he knows her game to make content. Brian rings the beef bell to call a beef on Jimmy and claims it's because Jimmy is shutting down all his good ideas for activities. The two have a planking competition and Jimmy loses. But Brian says it's not personal. He had to make the night interesting. He says that he will sleep next to Jimmy's stuff on the couch to guard it, while Jet enjoys a Minecraft video in a normal place to do such a thing. He receives a TTS that the beef was fake. Ben gives him a talking to saying that Brian needs to start making good decisions. 
During the chip count, Taylor wonders what kind of content she can make to pass the time, and Jet says she shouldn't feel obligated to think about making content. Late at night, Ben offers TJ 60 chips if he can get Taylor to kiss him, and he says no. A TTS comes through raising the offer, so he agrees. Oh, this thing shut off. I don't know, I'll probably... How do I make him understand that I need to be asked five times and then I'll say yes? There was, there was a chance that if we did this, we all stop. TJ pressures Taylor on and on for several hours, telling her that the waves of TTSs and sound effects won't stop until they kiss. He complains that if they don't do it, they're wasting the chips over nothing, harassing her on and on until she finally obliges. All right. <laughs> Okay. okay, just... This is so strange. Alright. I don't think I could be an actor. This is so much. Okay, just, uh... Okay. St okay. I can't okay. know this happening. Quick. Yes. <laughs> everything, will, everything will be nice. You'll get more out of this. Okay. Alright. Okay. Ben pays TJ 60 okay. chips in the end, <laughs> revealing that the offer wasn't <laughs> even raised in the first w. place. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. They're first of many. <laughs> Riz aside. <laughs> damn. Oh, yeah, I saw they're in Michigan right now with Brian. That's crazy. I saw that. I was like, damn, that's cool. Like, they're hanging out. Hell yeah. Yeah, shout out to AB for editing all these, because this is wild. Like, you had to keep up with what was going on that day on top of editing the day before. Like, that's, that's some real shit, for real. He should be streaming it! No! <laughs> yeah, shout out AB, guys. Shout out AB. Shinji should teach TJ how to stream it. No! <laughs> Shout out, Nebby. Okay. Thank you, AB. Hell yeah. Shout out to Nebby. She's in my lap right now, guys. It's her birthday. She's in my lap. Her head's up here. She likes to lay on my lap. Neb it up. Neb it up. Happy birthday, Nebby. Happy birthday, Nebby. Let's get some happy birthday Nebbies in the chat. Happy birthday, Nebby. Oh, Brocklanders, thank you for the five. Liquid tay it up. How did that chip treat you? LOL. You were fucked up. LOL. Yeah, that treat, that, that chip, that chip fucked me up. Uh, it was, oh. That chip was insane. Uh, Nebby is three years old. She showed up at the first house I moved into. She showed up from outside the woods on the day that I moved in. Ironically enough. Um... My name, thank you for the $2, W or L, and you sent me a Wikipedia link? Oh shit, it's on my super chat, so I don't know how to go back to that. Oh man. Okay. Alright, 
I got the super chest pulled up. Let me see if I can... Alright, I'm going to try to copy and paste this. I don't know what this is. It's the Tay language. Is this, an, is this a real language? Oh. Oh! In northeastern Vietnam. Isn't that the communist part of Vietnam? Oh, well. That's crazy! I didn't know that. Hell yeah. Uh, big strong boss, thank you for the four ninety nine. I I just want to see Liquid Tay. Thank you, man. Uh, w Wade, thank you for the two dollars. I've had five dreams about you, but never gooned once to you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Nebby gang, nebby gang, nebby gang, nebby gang, for real. Liquid Tay is almost here, guys. Liquid Tay is in the move, in the in the moving. Liquid Tay is halfway here, almost released. I have a Fender Stratocaster. I could chug a Red Bull. Liquid Tay will have to chug a Red Bull. But... Uh, made in Mexico, the fender is. Q and Anon said he'll donate the rest if you call him. Bruh. Bruh. I'm not calling Q, Q and Anon. I'm not calling him. Just keep doing it for her, bud. Keep doing it for her. I've ever had kidney stones? No. Jimmy is watching my stream on his stream? Really? That'd be funny if I... It'd be, it'd be really funny if I did this. Hold up. Let me do something real quick. Call him Lamau, good content. But thank you for the 25, bro. I feel like unsafe calling him, though. That's what I'm worried about. I feel unsafe calling him. Is he seriously streaming my stream on his stream? Please oh call gosh. that dork. Why not? That's good content. Just do it on speaker. Think of what he'll say. Shit will be hilarious. So he's watching my stream right now. On his stream. So now we have an inception. Call him Lamau, good content. But thank you for the 25, bro. I feel like unsafe calling him though. That's what I'm worried about. I got you, you son of a bitch. I got you, you son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, put me on stream. Put me on stream. Please See what happens. See Why what not? happens. I'm strapped. I am strapped. Think of what he'll say. Shit will be hilarious. <laughs> so he's watching my stream right now. On his she don't even know, baby. 
There you are. So Holy shit. Now, good thank you for the 25, bro. I feel like unsafe calling him, though. That's what I'm worried about. I got you, you son of a bitch. Oh, what? I got you, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, put me on stream. Stream seception. Think of what he'll say. Now I no, now I got fixed. Got fixed, hey. He's pointing the gun at himself though. See you reacting. We're both a bit delayed. Holy shit. Bro, the stream inception! <laughs> How many layers will it go? He got distracted. How deep does it go? See you reacting. We're both a bit delayed. There you are. Holy shit. Bro, the shit. Shit, we need beer section. We need cult 45 section. We need cult 45 section. Garrett is still going. It's still going. Dude, it never ends. Wait. How many layers will it go? How deep does it go? How deep does it go? We got this shit. 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 We, we got this shit. Oh, no. Haley, we got Haley up in here. We gotta celebrate. It's still going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we drink Wait, 45. I'm black now. This is now a black sh. What the fuck? This is how to obtain an N word pet. I think the duel has been lost. <laughs> Dude, it's still going. We got this shit. We got this shit. Haley, we got Haley up in here. We gotta celebrate. Oh, wait, that's a fucking great idea. Um, fuck, hang on. Yeah, we drink 45. I'm black now. This is now a black shh. What the fuck? This is how to obtain an end I think the duel has been lost. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't use dark mode. That's some madman behavior. We back on the we back on the digest. We back on the digest. Dude, I do find it really funny to call the Q and A on. I'm not gonna lie. But I don't, at the same time, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, thank you for the five dollars. I miss the old Taylor, the tank Taylor, not afraid to be mean to people. You are too timid now. Also, five dollars is too much. I have a lot of things to say, but I can't afford it. Please lower it to three dollars. Also, I think you should call that guy. You're all, also, you're mad cute. Thank you. Uh, Plaque, thank you for the ten. Uh, put these Brazilian dollars towards the gun fund. Don't play around with fortune, schizos. These, those two aren't joking, by the way. If all else fails, come to Brazil. I protect you, my chud queen. No, I'm not going to Brazil. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna think. I'll be right back.
right, guys. We're back. We're back. I have, uh... Hold up. If I actually do it... I'm... Okay. I'm willing to do it. But... We gotta get to Liquid Taily first. Can we get to Liquid Taily? Before we call Q? No, no cigarettes. <laughs> See, that's what I'm worried about. He's gonna say a bad word that'll get me in trouble. I am weighing the pros and cons here, and... I know I can, uh... <laughs> uh, I know he wants attention. That's what I'm. Get Vance to prank him? Oh! Oh! Dude. Oh, Brocklanders, thank you for the five. I wouldn't chance it. Funny as it is, if it's real, you're playing with fire. Mm. You got a point. Hmm. He's freaking out in the threads right now. Yeah. Get Jimmy to call him! Hmm. 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 That's interesting. That's really interesting. Hmm. I'm curious. That's that's an interesting proposition that you guys are giving. Let's think.
YouTube stream, fuck wisdom, no balls. We might, might just have to... Psh, gotta get, yeah, I got hype music playing, gotta get something going, get Jimmy on the call. Thank you, Junk Fist, for the five. Next time you're streaming games, look up Who's Leela. It's Lynch-inspired and trippy and literally autistic. <laughs> A real trifecta for your goofy ass. Let Jimmy talk to that guy first, as we know he has experience reaching schizophrenics. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Just call him Bud the whole time. Ah. <laughs> no, I W Wade. You've been like pushing it too. I I, I think uh. Hmm. I don't think I can do it. I. It's funny. The idea of it's funny. <sighs> I'm getting worked by Bant Live. Yeah, I really am. Yeah, nothing happens till 500 anyways. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I don't want him to like track trace my number. That's the thing. I don't want I don't want him to trace my number. <laughs> but thank you for the 5. It's okay. We'll get him next time. How was your weekend, Tay? It was fun. Hang out with my friend for her birthday. But Dude, oh, dude, I don't want to fucking. He already knows where I live. Turkey Tom needs to stop harassing me for real. <laughs> Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. Is Jimmy still watching my stream? Yeah, like I need I need a I feel like I need a weapon. Did did he does he actually know my fucking address? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I'm ready to watch more digest, honestly. But like fuck. This is peak post tank content, make it happen, do the bad things. Thank you for the fifteen. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Mm. Oh, he is. Yeah, like, I need, I need a, I feel like I need a weapon. Did, did he, does he actually know my fucking address? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I'm ready to watch more Digest, honestly. I'm mixed, oh, Andy like, House. Fuck. This is peak post-tank content, make it happen, do the bad things. Mm. Thank you for the 15. I'm tempted. Oh, he is. Yeah, like I need, I need a, I feel like I need a weapon. Did, did he, does he actually know my fucking address? That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I'm ready to watch more Digest, honestly. I'm mixed, Andy. Like, fuck. 
What the fuck? This is peak post tank content. Make it happen. Do the bad things. Why is this happening? Um, mostly Chilean, Thank Irish, and Italian. If you want to be technical, every race except for uh. Yeah, Liquid Day has nothing to lose. <laughs> Yeah, Liquid Tay would have already done it. Liquid Tay would have already done it. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I know it would just start problems. It would start a fucking... Did that motherfucker dox me, though? That's the thing. If I got doxed by that motherfucker of all people... Dude... This is fucked. Hey, Pacific Islander. Dude, this is fucked. It was doxed on day one. <laughs> Give me your address so I can protect you. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Wait, b b bad ideas? <sighs> Thank you for the five. The idea is funny, but Q is beyond unhinged. I don't think it's worth it. He knows your address and phone number and says he's planning on moving down there or get on Fish Tank Season 3 to meet you. He admits he's never had a friend before. He's not normal. Oh, good God. Yikes. Bad ideas. Thank you for the five. I know how to- I know how to use- I know how to use the fucking gun. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's Come funny, but he was beyond forward. unhinged. I don't think it's worth it. He knows your address and phone number and says he's planning on moving down there or get on Fish Tank Season 3 to meet you. He admits he's never had a friend Gutter before. Oil? He's not normal. Yeah, yeah, so they have like these street vendors. Yikes. And instead of using clean water- Bad ideas, thank you for the five. Sewage water. Oh. Huh? It enhances the flavor. Hmm. Well, are you live right now? I know how to. I know how I'm to. I'm live. Use, I know how to use the fucking gun. Are you? Don't worry. I, I don't know. Don't worry. Am I? I'm sort well, of just beating my meat with this things, cologne. I don't think it's worth it. He knows your address and phone number and says okay, he's planning on moving down there or get on fish tank to you. Free to meet you. He admits he's uh, never had a friend before. Gutter oil? Yeah, yeah, so they have like these switch events right now. And instead of using clean water, Bad ideas, you've got a lot of things. It doesn't really matter at this point now. I love you. You're luscious. Huh? That's pretty neat. I appreciate you. I day I want you shaved bald for me I'll leave my face there for as long as you need. Every day every night but you gotta be bald day. Balls. Bald on head bald on mound. Knand and we out here for you stay strong king. Alone, you're like, I should start mooing like cows. You're luscious. 
Oh no, I just move alone. I Day I want to shave bald for me, I'll leave my face there for as long as need. Every day, every night, but you gotta be bald day. Bald. Bald on head, bald on mound. Hey, you wanna do a QA? and a Like, I ask you a question. And I'm uh, here for you, stay strong, you King. You answer. Oh. If I ask you some questions, mm. will you answer them? You're an order man, do that, right? Okay. You answer alone, you're like, all right, what, start moving. What, like, what are your pronouns? Oh, no, I just move what, what alone. Is this I'm planning on asking my nature. Uh. I day I want to see the ball right, out of me, I'll leave know, my face for as long as it is. Every day, every day, you gotta be bald day. Bald. Uh, bald on head, bald on mound. Pikmin 2, hey, right you now. Q &A? Yeah. That's a, that's a good one, Nintendo. Hey, ask you yeah. a question. Pikmin mm, 2, yeah. Here for you, stay strong, you King. Um, oh, let's some questions. What's the favorite item? Your most favorite? Am I... I... Mmm. Mmm. Still in the doghouse, gets up and rips a decoration off the beef bell. Then he pulls the clapper out of the bell in an attempt to end all beefs, so Ben tells Brian to come down and supervise his bad dog. Jimmy reminds Brian that he asked for Jimmy to be put here, but also thanks him for teaching him to listen to the basement through the floor. Taylor's status is updated. She is actually a freeloader. TJ cheerfully chats with her in the morning and says he's surprised to be so popular with the audience. The fish spend the morning with Nifty and her annoying liberal mom habits increasingly motivate Brian to get her out of the house. The fish tilt the morning conversation towards Kyle Rittenhouse, black people, gun ownership, and eventually say they think Nifty has been canceled for saying knickers last night. When Nifty doesn't react, the rest of the fish leave Jimmy to distract Nifty while they scheme. They discuss Jimmy while he's away. But other than Trish, they all seem to agree he's not an issue compared to Nifty. Jimmy happens to eavesdrop while they read Taylor's notes on Jimmy's sex life. Surprisingly, he marches in and says, <laughs> My employer has wished for me to tell you, you can just ask me these questions yourself. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm just curious. No, you're an open button. <laughs> They all are made to wear charcoal exfoliating masks for their skin and not for any other reason. While wearing the masks, the fish must participate in a pair of immunity challenges. First, the fish must toss pool noodles at each other and shout, Ooga Booga, which doesn't remind me of anything. <laughs> which doesn't remind me of anything. Part two of the challenge is to hide throughout the house so a special guest can look I for I knew them. they were going to do this. The new freeloader with no ironic characteristics I'm... searches for the fish and Brian the winner. I knew they were going to bring last. in a black person when in they the made this. In the triathlon challenge TJ is the captain of the Paul Mall team <laughs> and Brian is the captain of the Lucky Strike team. In the first leg, each team must vie to be the first to finish three packs of cigarettes. Jimmy asks Taylor to slap him to take his mind off the fact his team must smoke Paul Malls. Brian is confident because he smokes the most of anyone and smokes as many as eight at once. Next, each fish on a team must eat 10 hot dogs. Brian's team barfs over and over to finish faster. When Brian's team moves on to the final leg exercise, Jimmy quits early, claiming TJ picked Taylor, who won't eat, when he said to pick Tay Lee, who was a much stronger competitor. He says that he can't do all the work, and shouts back and forth with his teammates until he snaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Fuck me! No, 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 no. Yikes. The judge takes Jimmy aside. Doesn't matter. I don't care about anything you're gonna say. I want you to not get physical with a girl in this house. The only way that Jimmy will be allowed to stay would be if he says he's sorry and Taylor permits him to stay. Did Jimmy they gets leave the chance the... to apologize Oh, to they left a fucking part where Jimmy was trying to fight me and I was like, I will fight. Like, I wish I could have seen that. Oh, man. Taylor, it's full of excuses, but she accepts. I'm so sorry. I swear to you. I hate being angry. Jed acknowledges how dedicated Jimmy is to entertaining the audience. He drafts a restraining order requiring Jimmy to stay 10 feet away from every woman in the house. 
The majority of the residents agree Jimmy should go home. He is too unhinged to stay. TJ beats himself up, saying he wishes he had <laughs> done more to protect Taylor. Fish and TTS pressure TJ to ring the beef bell on Jimmy because Jimmy was a bad teammate and to defend Taylor, so he resolves to do so soon. Nifty performs her stand-up. It's great. Everyone is super entertained. Oh, shit. That's okay, AB. Yeah, so, um... Where was I going after that? Whole-ass women, too whole-ass women. Yeah, yeah, well, he only gets three-quarters of one. Um, by, um... Me! 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 Uh, me! 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 Are you done? Me! Me! J Fat Dyke Fat Dyke Negger. Judge announces that the elimination challenge will be stand-up and will happen on January 1st. Each fish must perform a 10-minute set. Next, TJ rings the beef bell on Jimmy. The challenge is swamp wrestling, also known as Indian wrestling, in normal context. Tay put on the red wig and shave the mound. Let's be real, it's time to call the 4chan boy that loves you. I'm not letting you shit ever, you fucking faggot! I'm fucking with Fuck y'all! Bitches! Trish, after complaining all day that she hated it when Jimmy hugged on her, requests to exclude herself from the 10-foot rule and join the victor in his room, saying, all is forgiven. Denier is allured by Halo, and Brian at the very least pretends to rejoin Jimmy's side. While TJ is trapped in the doghouse, Brian takes his chips to prove to the judge that he's willing to fuck people over. He reflects that Ben told him last night he should make just one good fucking decision. He returns the chips and says, The next group session starts with Shinji talking about how he judges no one, not even Jimmy. The judge challenges him for having safe opinions. Brian worries that TJ is too soft and is overly worried about popularity. Judge and Ben interrupt. Popularity isn't everything. They say they engineered Josie, the popular girl, winning. So would they really do it again? Multiple participants say Jimmy's meltdown was the worst part of their time on Despite the show. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a Jimmy in a cage. Oh, but some don't defend his actions, but do defend his feeling of being overwhelmed, saying his teammates let him down. Offhand, the judge mentions that nine out of ten times Jimmy would have won Indian wrestling against TJ due to his build. That's why they chose it. Mid-meeting, Brian and Trish are taken aside to a room in the house they have not yet visited. We're not going to be here long. Do you want to guess what this room is? <sighs> Looks like a seance kind of room. Looks like the... Well, there's that table. There's that table? It's actually a hospital like, bed. Um, looks like... Like a one -on -one yeah, room. Okay, this is where the actual game starts. That down there is an audition in the den. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Put the pieces together. Think about what that means. This is also a secret. You're not to tell anybody about this place. Absolutely. Upon his return, Brian turns on TJ with sudden heat. Man the fuck up, he says. It's going to fuck you to be so nervous. Brian gets even more heated against Dunye. He didn't try during the triathlon. The he's too soft. He's not ready. Dunye says he has acting experience and can hack it. But Jimmy says, fish tank is a lot more like the streets than acting. A new freeloader enters out of the blue. Delaney, a 32-year-old woman, is invited to speak and says Nifty would be the first to leave. Nifty tries to justify herself with stars and crystals bullshit, and they condescend her. The judge says it doesn't matter. She's, uh, yeah, she's not, she's, she can abstain from challenges. Because she's a paid actress. I thought Delaney was going to be fucked. Like, I thought she was going to be, like, fucking us up bad. But she's actually really chill. Nick she Jimmy probably and had Shinji good are ideas. to room together in the green bedroom. Taylor, Taylor, and Brian move into the pink bedroom, and all the freeloaders move together in bedroom three. TJ sleeps in the doghouse with Taylor next to him. TJ tells Taylor he's more of a man than Jimmy is. 
Romeo and Juliet doghouse alert, forbidden love alert. They are about to make sweet, 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 passionate love alert. But, uh... Oh! I guess that was it. Damn. Yeah, it'd be fun to play music with Delaney or something. That would be fun to do sometime. Okay. What's going on with the... Uh... Yay, I'll buy your pubes for $1,000. I just have to know you're perfectly bald. It must be bald. I don't like hairs. Must be bald. Bald is good. Is Jimmy still talking to him? Oh, uh, Oysterhead, thank you for the... Oh. Yeah, thank you for the five. Uh, did you know some of your vomit sprayed on the other team's dogs? They were later eaten as well. No one seemed to mind, though. Oh, that's crazy. But, thank you for the ten. Um. QAnon, we out here for you. Stay strong, King. Uh, Wesley Halcyon. Oh my god. Tay put on the red wig and shaved the mountain. Let's be real, it's time to call the 4chan boy that loves you. Oh good god. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter now, yeah. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, that would be cool to hang out with Delaney or something at some point. Shut up, Wesley. Just like Picard told you. Oh my god. Wait, is Jimmy actually talking to him? Like, fully talking to him? Hold up. What? Is Jimmy actually, like, talking sense into him? If so, that's funny as fuck. But I kind of can't believe it. Obviously, you know, like, she's she's good and spooked. She's good and spooked for fucking oh, yeah. honest reasons, you know? Yeah, she's making a whole load of money. No, 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 Man, no, no. That's no. good I'm for just her say, now, I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, you don't need to give her any money. Yeah. Like. No, I haven't gave her any money. Okay, yeah, and I'm, I'm just saying it's like. I'm, I swear to you, I'm not judging. I'm just fucking intoxicated, but I'm being real with you here. Yeah. Like, she's just cool. Like, but yeah, you don't, you don't need to give her money. Uh, certainly do not message her just all the time. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. No, listen, um, th that's great advice. And, uh, you know, thanks for uh, sharing your uh, wisdom, right, on, uh, on the young... A 19 year old computer science major right now I, I get that um but i i haven't donated her any money i don't really have um capital to just spend oh no 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 i'm there. i know i know you don't bro no you don't i'm just saying that not yet do not feel compelled to do not feel compelled to focus on you bro oh no and uh, honestly i have the opinion that that, that mimics prostitution right and I'm, I'm not trying to call Haley uh, a prostitute. I, I'm more saying that you're sort of giving a woman money for uh, a desired outcome from her, which is essentially, to me, you know, prostitution. I, I know you can just be a fan and just give money. You know, that's great. Um, but in my scenario, it would it would feel wrong doing that, if that makes sense. I mean, it really doesn't. Yeah, matter. this is the I mean, voicemail they... guy, the first voicemail. Yeah. Okay. But obviously, you could be able to tell that by my own speech patterns. So. No, I, I actually, I didn't know. Um, 
you know, you sound um, normal, I guess. You, you sound like mentally sound. I don't. Th- I don't think maybe I'll I give her money if she sends me pubes. We need shaved head and like, shaved no, mouth. I, I mean, that's really were, important and uh, great advice. Just, you know. Well, Stay shaved. Always very hairless, it's important. Yeah. Amirai? No, that's good, man. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's just like... Um... But donate oh, I have $50. A, question. a whole load um, of money, Nick. You know, I guess, like when uh, broke uh, ass. You know, this is no longer your q and it's... No, no, it's still your q and uh, I have a question. Do you think I'm... Um, neurotypical. Okay, so first things first, bro. Never ever say neurotypical. Okay. You're watching me listen to Q and A on talk to Jimmy. Now, give me a second. I have to go get another forty because someone was kind enough to donate to me fifty dollars to go help Porter Man, and I got chugged this shit while I talked to you. All right. So, but give me one second. Give me one second. No, yeah, sure. I'm, you know, I'm here. Say now, look, now, yeah. now, so first things first, you're completely normal. I'm going to be real with you. Like, look, a lot of dudes won't fucking admit it, but there have been dudes where they haven't necessarily acted, but they can sympathize with the whole shebang, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, coming down to Rut Vegas, let's go into something crazy. Sorry, I was reading a a donation from Toilet for United States, uh, which is a very silly name. That Um, name is pretty silly, yeah. Talk to him via Jimmy's stream. That's good. You don't... Look, QAnon, I know you're listening to me through Jimmy's... You are completely... You're you're listening to this stream, even though you're talking to Jimmy, I'm sure. I'll talk to you through a person. There is a very easy way to find women who you are just as fascinated with as you are fascinated with Taylor. No, no, no. no. Your, I, I'm sorry. I have to stop you there. Not uh, uh, on my college campus, it is terrible. No, okay. bro, bro, bro. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing it with barely. you there. Like, you just honest to God need to fucking change your scenery. How fucking smart are you, for real? Change of scenery. Where am I supposed to go? Right? Okay. I don't have a car. I, I'm stuck here on campus in this hellscape of a city, okay? What city are you, you know in? What, you know the women I, I interact with? They're these, um, like, obese uh, or Chinese uh, women, right? Um, you know, hey, no we hate hair now. It's gross. No more yeah, hair. We don't do yeah, hair yeah, anywhere. It's bad. It's a bad baby. We are all about being shaped always. We use our donations for electrolysis. We hate mount hair most of all. Uh, gross. Stinky. So... Is this Believe liquid me. coal? I get it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so you didn't answer the question, really, if I'm neurotypical or not? Uh, I'd say that you're normal, which is neurotypical, but never, ever use that term because that's a fucking scam. That, Bro that's trying to be Elliot scam. for real. I don't fall for that shit. Was that like the N-word for uh, autistic people? No, you're I'm not honest, autistic am, at all, bro. It just it, honestly, you know, God, it it sounds like you have a similar case where of me where it's like probably no one ever is liquid coal actually like, a meme. Okay, okay, sorry. Interact with shit. You sound like you're in a fucking shithole. Uh, well, I I have my fan on and yeah, I'm in a dorm. It's, yeah, know. and bro, you're in a fucking college campus in 2024. It's I a know. fucking shithole. But like about it. fifteen dollars. You're a nineteen terribly. dog. You're I thought, a you know, I thought it was a joke, you but got you know a lot of time those, um, to come up with a plan that has um, you doing what say, you want to do. Let's say I've seen, I, I've seen many of them, especially since there's an art school, like, down, down the road, really. Yeah, it's, no, uh, listen, bro, obviously I'm not here to dox you, but, uh, you and me both know that, uh, your state's kind of I will not be shit. his, I will oh, not yeah. be his Jessica. And, and I, I appreciate you not doxing me. Yeah, I, I don't want to dox anyone in the night. No, I but so, so, listen, I shit you not. I see you not, though, right? You go to the states to the west of you. Now, I'm speaking in code here. I'm yeah. speaking in code here as to not dox you. Right. You, you know east from west, right? You're that smart, right? Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. 
So you get so you get the states I'm talking about. Everyone everyone outside of your fucking campus is fucking sick of the same fucking shit, right? You yeah. follow me. Cause I just need someone to follow me because I'm like a shy motherfucker. I will show you. I will show you that it is much easier to make friends and not to mention like or meet, an, an meet army? women meet women that you can be just as fascinated in as you are today. And I'm, that's not no, to be rude it. or nothing. It's just me no, I get it. I, intoxicated I, I, I get and like trying to solve like your me. issue and show you that like you when I say change yeah. location or change scenery, fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. I'll fucking drive you. I'll fucking drive you. I can easily set up fucking security measures. Let's go. Yay, maybe if we have a red wig, it's okay to have like a landing strip. Okay. But like that's it. No more. So if you try we don't like furries. Do well, Oof. Imagine being covered in stinky, stinky, stinky hair. We don't need general hair. We need to be smooth. Smooth. Shave it. Shut the fuck up. If I don't tell them that I'm safe or say certain code words, guess what they do? They call the cops on you and you get arrested for murder or some shit, right? But I'm telling you, very close by to your state. In fact, fucking even within your state, towards the west, all the chicks fucking hate the shit that's on your college campus. All the chicks hate the same shit that you do, and I promise you, this is a fucking case. Because they tried to convince me that my the fucking high school I went to was the real fucking world. They tried to convince me that the fucking first college I went through to, Juniata College, an absolute shithole, was the real fucking world. Nah, bro, I'm telling you, that ain't the real fucking world. Like, me, they were the silent fucking majority. Like, I shit you not, you were not fucking alone. I just want you to know that. Yeah. Trust me, bro. Okay. It, it Like, I'm not saying, like, obviously fucking give up on college or some shit like that, right? What I am saying is that... You can recognize what's bullshit in this fucking world. However, you don't have to go far to get away from that bullshit, right? I will say, get absolutely get a driver's license. No, Jimmy! Fuck yourself over, get a driver's license. <laughs> He's like, get a driver's license so you can no, drive to true. Taylor. Yeah, I've been Jimmy! to get one, but I'm in college and, you know, everything's walkable because I'm in the city. I, you know, walkable. Fuck the city. Clothes. Fuck the city. Yeah. Cities are yeah, shit. But listen, get a driver's license. College break, next college break you got, right? Yeah. Don't Summer. even, all, like, spend maybe, like, all you gotta do is spend one day or two. Just set that shit up for fucking summer break, right? Due to your age, I think you should be allowed to take the driver's test. Get oh, fucking taught. Oh, either shit. by really close friends or fucking family. Taylor's for sleep. We gotta shave fully down there, okay? Apart. Jesus Christ. And fucking just go with them. Go with them and learn. Learn real fucking fast. Learn how to drive and get the fuck out of the city. I oh, promise you. Fuck. I promise you. You'll be so fucking surprised with how chill the majority of people are these days. Like, outside yeah. of the fucking college campus. Or a shithole commie city filled with a bunch of SJW brats. I think it's time to. Unblock him and see if he calls first. No, I'll let Liquid Tay make that decision for me. Day 13! Day 13! Bad ideas, you're just mad. The day starts with the release Stay of mad. TJ from the doghouse. TJ and Taylor lurk together for most of the day. TJ says he's not nervous about competing against Jimmy in stand up, but Taylor and Brian think he is screwed because he gets stage fright. Brian and Trish come together about the experience they had with the judge in the attic. They conclude that it will be their role to remove fish the producers targeted during the group session the prior night. They plan to come for Shinji's chips because the judge came down hard on good guys. And on mm. TJ, his relaxed spine. Brian approaches Jimmy and includes him on the plan tank right to take now. TJ's yeah. chips. Thank Once you, Ron Lady the afternoon is dedicated to stand-up practice. Taylor decides her stand-up will be a roast of Jimmy. Taylor will be doing a set. Comparing the tank to a woman's prison, Jimmy activates the garbage disposal. 
One, two, test. One, two, test. Oh, One, two, hi, test. Baby. Ignore all the bald guys. God damn it, audience. Tell me. This, it has Pretty turned please. into a weird night. Judge introduces today's challenge. Cut a two-minute wrestling promo against your opponent in the tank and win $1,050. In third place, Taylor lays out everything the fish hate about Nifty. Live in this tank! I'm calling out Shifty Nifty for this fight! She keeps leaving her dirty, smelly stench all over this tank! She can't pick up on social cues! And quite frankly, I'm sick of it! She can't... In second place, Jimmy drops a Booker T reference. You walked my dog! But you fucked my grandmama! You ain't my dog! And I'm coming for you, nigga! <laughs> the prize winner TJ gives Shinji the business. I'm going to be jumping and hopping on you, man. You're going to wish you were at Hiroshima, man. Shinji, Shinji, don't try to hide from me with that ninja voodoo. Don't come at me. Bald head, bald on mouth. Liquid Tay hates Magic. hair except for a tiny little red landing strip that is the item. The fish are told Nifty and Duani placed second and third instead, though, even though they both obviously sucked shit. Afterwards, Brian approaches Jimmy, wondering if his promo is a sign he might cooperate to get Shinji out. Jimmy is confused. He chose Shinji because he didn't want to upset anyone, and Shinji would be a good sport. Brian walks it back, saying he just wanted to see where Jimmy's head was at. Judge teaches Jimmy and Taylor to box, and Ben visits Taylor and TJ in their love nest when the stream abruptly cuts out. Fuck. Was it actually? When time resumes, Taylor fights for the first time in her life and admits that she called out Nifty because she hates her and all lesbians because she was groomed by one. The attic team reconvenes. Brian says he knows where Shinji's chips are, but is waiting to take them. He assumes he still knows where TJ's chips are, but TJ and Taylor have been in their love nest all day, so he hasn't been able to check. They stress over what the symbol oh on God. the floor meant, and Brian has the a theory pussy. for what is going on that has changed his whole mentality in a positive way. Taylor calls TJ her friend. The TTS calls Taylor an actress, and she asks TJ if he believes it. He says she's pretty enough to be an actress. Jet and the judge give TJ advice for how to riz up Taylor. He begins to stress that he's an idiot for trusting Brian with the location of his chips, and that he should have known better. The judge brings TJ to the attic. Just a question you uh, want an answer to? Um, what's going on? You want to know if Brian's an actor? But Brian isn't an actor. He's not. Are you lying? this being like a recorder? No. Okay. If you could wake up anywhere tomorrow, where would it be? Uh, here. Here? Uh, yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Like, I'm in the game. What's your favorite movie that you've reviewed on Letterboxd? Um, Clockwork Orange, maybe? The two arrows symbolize hate and death and love and life when you say you don't deserve a girlfriend do you think that's a hate and death arrow or is that a love and life arrow hate and death so maybe you should stand right there all right you know why you're a hateful person i'm a, i'm a hateful person you're standing in the hate and death corner. Why do you think you're a hateful person? Uh, I don't know, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, like myself very much. Do you think that I would let a liar walk away with $50,000? No, sir. This logo is the logo for the initiative group. The initiative group? If you want to win the show, you have to be a member of the initiative group. Do you want to be the first member of the initiative group? I guess so. Didn't sound like much of an answer to me. Damn. I think we're done here. 
Now I get it with the mural, too. I mean... Fuck! They were the suits that said initiative group when they gave us the niacin. And protein, and Brian takes Trish aside for another meeting. He asserts that he believes this is a job interview for MDE, Damn. and that's why they want interesting things to happen Should on camera, so the staff can see how entertaining they both are. The judge takes Brian aside next. He tells Brian that he's developing his character well. He warns Brian from targeting Shinji, who is also an actor, and from Jimmy because it would be premature. He approves Brian's suggestion to target Taylor. After the Chinaman imitation challenge, Jet announces that Nifty has 2,000 chips. Shinji, who has 400 less than the fifth place contestant, realizes suddenly that he does not have enough to make rent. Nifty brushes off his polite request to purchase some, so he panics, unable to think of a way to raise the chips without stealing. Brian says, just go fucking steal them and reminds him that Judge said this isn't the good guy show. Ben comes upstairs and tells Shinji he's earned 100 chips because his fans made Save Shinji trend. The rest of the fish convince him to make up the rest of the rent by robbing Nifty. Shinji retrieves the bag, and they divide the spoils by need. Shinji discards his, saying he does not want such a coin. Seeing chips exchanging hands, a drunk Duani jumps in. Someone Duane. stole his chips from the windowsill yesterday. Clearly it's Shinji's fault. No, it's Trish's fault. Jimmy scrambles to deduce that the culprit wasn't Shinji or Trish. The fish try to stop Duanyu when he bolts for the beef bell. Oh, that was and lands crazy. Trish in the doghouse. Taylor tells the others that TJ was obsessed with the actor gaslight. Seeing Shinji moping at having stolen from Nifty, Jimmy takes him aside and they hug it out. Taylor takes offense at the anti white racism Denier was shouting during his rampage. I might get canceled. I don't care though. I'm gonna defend myself and my background. Not gonna let. I get it. It is cringe. Accuse me of shit because of my race. Together in B1, Brian, <laughs> Shinji, Jimmy, and Trish conclude that the culprit was TJ and Taylor, and Jimmy and Brian commit to stealing TJ's chips soon. Damn. Day 13. We got day 13 done, guys. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy? <laughs> I feel cringe watching it. I think it's just like the, the overview type effect of like, oh god. Like, ugh. Ah. Like, why did I do that? I look like a fucking idiot. What about you? Uh, all of, so, I don't know. Oh, you're yeah, crazy. right, yeah, no. No, you're not. So you're just drinking on a, a nice Sunday night. Yeah. Streaming. Actually. No. Um. Anyway... So, Quarter Man, how do you guys meet? Sorry, I don't really, I haven't really watched your stuff, so I'm, I'm a bit clueless on that whole Quarter Man story. How, how do you guys meet? Uh, well, it's still a Q&A, by the way. You're in the Q&A. It's official. Yeah, cool. Uh, so, yeah, his car broke down outside my place one day, and I gave him and his wife a ride back home. And I appreciate his antique collection. And it took me a while because he just wanted to hang out and like jam out because I'm also into making music. But I explained to him, hey, you know, we can't really do that if your porch is about to collapse and you're about to lose most of your collection. So. Yikes. Next thing you know, after doing Nebby yard, does have a birthday hat. Permission to sell stuff on his behalf in exchange for a cut. It's her birthday hat. And that's what that's I'm working nice. on now. 
Um, how did uh, all of that stuff accumulate over the years? So he, I, I, I know he's a hoarder, right? If you watch the show, he's played Spoon Down three times. His his arms, his body are all covered in third degree burns. Oh, okay. He decided after the third time that he would never, ever lose. Yeah. Day 14! <laughs> Day 14, everybody. Day 14. Liquid Tay is almost here, guys. With the item. Liquid Tay is almost here with the item. The fucking item. <laughs> the item. Liquid Tay is on the way. Almost released. Liquid Tay is almost released, guys. Day 14. Let's go. The whole morning passes before Nifty notices her chips are missing. Brian tells her it's okay. After all, thanks for those unhinged entertainment. He Thank encourages you. her to ask the staff for the Hell security yeah. footage if she wants to pursue this petty issue. In a limbo battle, Shinji takes first and Jimmy takes second, while Taylor comes for Nifty's throat. I personally feel like you're preying on me in ways. Um, so, uh, and production is telling me to tell you this because, uh, for my own safety. Um, preying on you in what way? Like, you won't stop fucking staring at me, so, um, it's kind of annoying, and very creepy, and I don't appreciate it, and, um, I know. I think, uh, production is giving me this moment to tell you all of this so you can take it in because you seem to stare at me more than all the other girls, and they think that you were attracted to me and are crying on me, so... Nifty no, replies, I mean, like, well, I can just know, leave. Taylor brings here. the news to Jimmy. When Taylor rings the beef bell, Josie deems that the challenge will be the Tickle Jimmy challenge. After Taylor makes her attempt, Nifty loses by default because touching other people in the house is a spiritual exchange she doesn't want. She says she doesn't want to wear the collar either and doesn't want to leave. So Josie brings her downstairs. Jet returns and says the fish may not target Nifty because it's too much fun fucking with her while she's trying to sleep. He then announces Liquid the next challenge. Yeah. Coddle Nifty until she comes back upstairs. Only Sam, Jet, Ben, Josie, and Vance will be participating in the basement. Jet tells the fish it's time to change the Christmas uh, decorations out for New Year's and distributes memes collected from Twitter yeah. to the fish. Thank you, Jimmy Ben points T, out for that the his 1999. Edited mugshot is connected to the time he was put on the wrong medication in Utah and had a mental break. Taylor is excited to receive a photo of herself doing a Nazi salute. Just after dinner, once the house is fully decorated, TJ receives a TTS that says, Jay, stop cucking out to horse dick and internet porn and smash that blonde real human pussy fuck Jew Brian. <laughs> Rumors had been circulating outside of the tank since the prior day that Lube Cooch is TJ's internet handle. Lube Cooch is connected to embarrassing porn accounts and a letterboxed account which the judge asked him about during his attic interview yesterday. He approaches Vance by the basement door. While TJ is down, Delaney the freeloader lets the fish know she's actually Delaney Mills of Elvis Depressedly and is here to play a set for New Year's. 
The other fish decorate and play with Delaney's keyboard, unaware of the building tension in the basement and audience. For a long time, TJ remains in the basement until bursting out clearly full of adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? Oh shit, Brock Lander is singing for the five. Whoa, dude. Guys, we made it. Whoa, dude, we what made is it, liquid guys. Day? Hell yeah. Uh, ben T, thank you again, 999 Super Chat. Uh,. Sorry, Lego. Let me uh let me get to yours. Let me get to your super chat. My bad, dude. Hold up, hold up. I got you. Don't worry. Uh, Lego, I haven't. Lego. However you say it, I haven't seen yours yet. And uh. Oh wait, let me re refresh this. Okay. Uh uh. Thank you for the five dollars. You've been avoiding the question and now I feel like it's a freaking idiot. Now I feel like a freaking idiot, but why did you decide to go on ban and lurk? I need a response now. That is our sacred place for for you not to lurk. Not for you to lurk. Do you have a cute guy informing you? And if so, it should be me. <laughs> uh, no. I just, uh, heard people in my chat talking about it. And now I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go check it out. Since y'all pretty much told me. I just went and checked. I just didn't want to say. But, now I'm gonna say. But, Liquid Tay has to make an appearance, guys. Y'all hear that? Liquid Tay is about to be released. With the item. The Forsaken item, guys. The item. No, I don't post on 4chan. But, we'll be back.
right, guys. Liquid Taze here. <clears throat> with... With the Tatriots. Liquid Tay is here with the Tatriots. <laughs> it looks so bad. It looks so bad. Ginger it up, guys. I kind of hate it, too. Don't worry. With the Tatriots. I'm here with the Tatriots, guys. I'm here with the fucking Tatriots. With the real Tatriots, guys. With the liquid Tatriots. Liquid Tay with liquid Tatriots. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We got the Tatriots here. Hell yeah. How we doing, guys? What's up, guys? It's Liquid Tay. It's Liquid Tay. Kim probable. <laughs> Kim probably. <laughs> Um, so what are we thinking? Do we- <laughs> I have to call him now. Is he still talking to Jimmy? Oh, I gotta call him now. Ugh. Liquid tay it up. Liquid tay it up. Hell yeah. Um, oh. dude, I gotta call him. I gotta call him. Let's finish. Let's finish uh, the the fucking digest. And let me. I have. I got my new glasses in, but I have my contacts in right now. This is hard, because I have, like, double vision right now. I made a fucking... I made... I made it a goal. I have a feeling calling him's going to be cringe, too. Velma is the one with dark hair and glasses. <laughs> uh I know, that's why I'm like, uh. I don't wanna, yeah, like, I'd rather call through Jimmy, yeah, like, that's what I would rather do. Uh. Is he still talking to Jimmy? That's why I'm like, uh, I don't want to, yeah, like, I'd rather call through Jimmy, yeah, like, that's what I would rather do. Uh, is he still talking to Jimmy? I'm taking out my contacts, guys. Don't worry. We're trying to, at least. 
don't want to, yeah, like, I'd rather call through Jimmy, yeah, like, that's what I would rather do. Got him. I'm taking out my contacts, guys. Don't worry. We're trying to, at least. Okay. Yeah, he's, uh... He's not... He's not talking to him anymore. Mmm. Hey, you stupid. What's 9 plus 10? Uh, do I call him? Uh, uh. Also, I think... a good idea. I think that's a good idea. No, I'm not going to give out his number because I'm scared he's going to dox me. Which won't be cool. Yeah, I think I'll pass. It's, mm -mm. I ain't even risking that. I'm not even risking that. I feel like that motherfucker would be all slimy. And he would dox my shit. How'd he get my info? Fuck if I know. It would be funny as fuck. Yeah, that shit is dumb. Back to this. I'm sure it'll be Ben's ass. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, y'all can hear it. Never mind. Sorry, guys, I was just being pussy earlier. My bad. I know Jimmy and I have, like, had some tension recently. But if Taylor is. Like, starting to forgive him and uh, not be like uh, disturbed by his presence. I shouldn't either. And the fish share their New Year's resolutions. Of those who answered, Taylor wants to make money. Brian wants to spend more time with his family. TJ and Denye want to move out. Nifty and Trish want to improve their lives. Jimmy wants to, quote, make it out of the hole and stay out and do everything he needs to do. Shinji wants to find academic success and create content. Chris Lynch arrives to host the New Year's celebration. Jimmy has been banned from drinking since the incident, and a couple times since has said he wonders if he would be allowed to drink again. Even when they allow me to drink again, I ain't gonna drink. I realize it's been giving me an A on the competition. What's that Taylor dork dance? finishes crocheting a hat for the judge, and heads downstairs ready to make trouble. The judge arrives and announces the first game of the night. Oh, God. Swamp Croquet. Delaney forms a team with Jimmy, Shinji, Trish, and TJ. Nifty chooses Brian, Taylor, Dwani, and Taylor. The winners get chips, the losers drink shots. Despite the last two days of tension, TJ returns to supporting and cooperating with Jimmy. The hero of the game who carries her team to victory is, of course, the athletic champion, Nifty. During trivia, Delaney tanks the majority of the drinks for her when team. When TJ had to reject you for your crush on him, did you think it was a bit? 
Yeah, because I don't have a crush on him. And I know Chris told him to do that because I literally heard Chris tell him to do that. And same with Chris telling me to go tell Shinji that I'm in love with him. And then to break his heart. Including Jimmy's share. While the fish play charades, Delaney gets possessed by a 300-year-old demon and begins to demolish the bathroom. Turning her rage to the room, she picks the best possible target. <laughs> and you. And you. And you. And you. No, 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 you're, you, 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 no, 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 listen, you already killed him. Oh, that's the worst idea. That's the, that's the person you really don't want to be. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Delaney, I got it. 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 Delaney, I Shoes. Yeah, she's awesome. Can I be real with you? Yeah. I'm very happy that you've been handling yourself so well, and I owe you my respect and my thank you. Well, yes. thank you. Thank you guys for giving me another chance. Because, like I said, I hate being that way, but it's like, yeah. Thank you for not whipping your hand and hitting the lady. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I keep telling people. I, I know. Well, we're not gonna let anybody hit you, hit you either. Because that was good that you didn't. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thrash well, I was just you. like, what the fuck did I do? Well. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor offers Jimmy a cigarette and says, Wait, Jimmy, I got you. Thank you. Now never be mad at me again, no matter what I say. Well, I know. I haven't been mad yet. Now have I? You haven't. I, I'm, I might say mean things soon, but it's all in joke. As the year turns to 1974, TJ and Taylor finally share a genuine kiss. The dance competition begins, and the last person to oh drop wins $4,000. Taylor is almost immediately eliminated yeah. because she screams obscenities at the camera instead of dancing. Oh she must sleep in the doghouse as a punishment. TJ goes way too hard and runs out of stamina early. Jimmy quits of exhaustion, and Chris brings him the CD player from his car, which he has been asking for at least once a day for the last two weeks. Drunk. Suddenly, his exhaustion is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we so in business. <laughs> this year becomes active Let's go! The moment is short lived as he demonstrates no understanding of copyright law and is told to stop before the show gets fined. TJ gets eliminated. Grandma dance, Grandma dance, Lamal. When he goes to bed, he asks Taylor if she wants to sleep next to him on the couch. Um, it's probably a weird thing to ask, but like, uh, do you want to sleep next to each other? If not, that's okay. I don't think there's any room on the couch. This is kind of next to each other right now. I mean, yeah, okay. Later on, they move close to one another and pet each other's hair. After five and a half hours and many references to a similar challenge from last season, the final two dancers are Trish and Shinji. Shinji is clearly on his last legs, but a narrative poll of the audience prompts Jet to offer the finalists the option to split the prize. <laughs> Trish and Shinji agree to it, although Trish admits she could have gone another hour. Jet asks her why she agreed if she knew he was about to fall. How do you feel? I feel fine. I could have gone for another hour. Really? Mm -hmm. Why'd you agree to it, though? Because I knew Shinji was tired. And I mean, I'm tired, too, but... Downstairs, Delaney wakes up and is furious to find someone has puked all over her immediate surroundings. Shinji tries to tell her she is the culprit, but she laughs him off. My regret is I just the I just never think about the stamina thing, so I just did the crazy thing aggressively and screamed a lot. That's definitely a fact. I'm it looks like like fucked, but 
still better than the two years ago's new year and I'm I'm happy to be with you yeah? I'm happy to share the, this moment thank you in the wee hours of the morning, production is provoked into initiating the bathroom cam oh, unlock sequence. No. Earlier in the night, Brian confessed to Jimmy that he would proposition Trish that evening. Brian and Trish are seen hopping into bed together and then making some suspicious sounds together in the bathroom. One final note, the camera from the attic has begun broadcasting in Morse code, coordinates leading to Wakefield House in Beckenham, UK. What? What? Wait, what? Damn. We got 15. We are, we're on 15 now. We finished the week. We finished the week, guys. Ugh. Not the bathroom cams. Jimmy checking my phone. Oh. Dude. I don't. Whoa! Nibby slipped. I'm sorry, Nibby. Oh, good God. Dude. I'm nervous. I know, like it feels wrong. But yeah, like it just says that he it just seems like he's a spurg. I What do I do guys? What do I do? Oh great, now Jimmy's calling. Jimmy! Yo. What what's happening? You're still on stream by the way. Yeah, I know I am. Uh things are delayed in like both of our streams, so I'm just going to no homo. That way I can hear better. That's okay. And my parents gonna have to suck it the fuck up, cause obviously I'm gonna have to give all my concentration. But yeah, uh, we end that three-way call. Right now? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Why ain't he saying anything then? Wait, fuck! Did that message not send? Why well, I was like, yo, bruh. Uh, no. Uh, I said yes. Oh, yeah, do you know how to do it? Uh, yeah, I just did it. So is he on this three-way call right now? Yikes. That would be weird, but it's like, I'm gonna have to be, like, switching between you and him. You're switching between? Yeah, like, on my phone, literally, like, 
What? I just, I press one button, and it's gonna go from you to him. Jimmy's got us on hold. <laughs> Back to you, Taylor. And now I'm looking up. Call, use call waiting or three-way calling. Scroll to the desired contact and then tap the phone icon. It can tell. Tap merge. Did God, it. I did it. I did it. Did I it? fucking did it. The calls are merged. The calls are fucking merged. They're merged? Yeah. Yeah. I did it. I'm supposed to do something. Did you hear anything? No, I don't. I, 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 well, I hear you. But did you hear anyone else? No. Oh. Are you sure about that? Uh, <laughs> um. No. Now. Now I hear someone. Yeah. Yeah. You hear someone now. Yeah. I do hear someone now. I um, knew I did it right. So um. Yeah. Who am I talking to? Who do you think? I don't know. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Um, well, I go by many names, but most people call me Q N Anon. Hmm. Or or Q. Hmm. And then you know, I, I have a name. I was I was born with. Um, but you, you don't need to know that. Either. Well, I mean, not now. Rather. Well, not in public, but obviously, yeah. I don't know, bro. Like. Shit. Is that a weird name to like? You gotta refer to me as um a, a Q N A N O N. Like even I have a hard time pronouncing it. You can just call me Q. How about that? Who are you saying that to Q. me? Uh, to anyone, to uh, you know, both parties in this call. No, bro. How, how about I call you Leopold? <laughs> uh, no. Well, I don't. I don't know. You know, I I, I think names have value. And I think if I tell you, you know, respectfully to call me this name, um, I mean, you just have to respect it. You don't want to get called by, like, your dead name or anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's funny. Um, but wait, so what? what is your name again? Um, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah. What? Okay, you know, Venus. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop um, pretending to be dumb here. I, I assume I'm talking to Haley. Yes. Or, yeah. Or no, 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 no. I got it wrong. No, sorry. It's liquid Haley. Yeah. Or, or liquid Tay. Yeah. No, Haley would never want to talk with a a 19 year old computer science major. No. No. The guys. He's unhinged. Yeah. The, the, the many donations. Yeah. No, I can't. Also, can I get a royalty check from all those donations uh, warning you about me? Maybe like a, you know, like a. You know, like a you know, no, do not suggest that. No. No, what am I? So, Jimmy, what are you like, my wingman here? Yes. All right. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to you. You, you know, you're 28, 29. Oh, right. No. Yeah. So you got wisdom. I get it. No, I get it. Um, Just be nice and explain the baloney scenario you're in. Right, and yeah. Tay possibly helped you realize that there's more women out there than your shit college campus or city. Yeah, she enlightened me. Right. Yeah, I, I actually used to be a bit of a, like a cynic. I used to think like, okay, you know, I look around at my campus, and uh, a lot of the women there are um, ugly. 
right? But, but Tay, Taylee, and it's okay. We can we can talk about her because uh, she's not here. You know, we're talking with Liquid Day now. Yeah. But Taylee, I, I think when I saw her on Fish Tank, I was um, well, I I, I was in shock because you know I, I've never seen um, a girl like her. I guess right. Um, you know, m- most of the women I I knew. They aren't so, um, you know, they, they're not like Taylor. Right? Anyway, <clears throat> um, how's it going, Liquid? Hey, how's your Sunday night? Looks ready. Oh, it's uh, it's going pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you know how it's going. And why's that? Because you're probably watching the stream right now. That, I, well, yeah, I am watching. I am, yeah, I'm watching the stream. Mm. You got me, okay? Yeah. And it's a great stream. Thanks. I'm a fan of you watching, or, I, well, I, I guess, yeah, you and um, Taylee watching the Digest, Fish Tank Digest. It's, it's been enjoyable, yeah. Has anyone ever Must told you that you you talk a lot like Cole from Fish Tank? Cole, um, no, I well, no one's really, no one, no one really has talked to me in a while now. Mm. We're on the level, on the level as uh, like, hey, you know, you sound like so and so. It's more like surface level conversations or talking with my professors. Hmm. Right, but you know, um, yeah, I, I want to change that, of course. Um, I think prolonged uh, isolation isn't good for; it, it hinders on the human condition in a way. Right, you know, we're, we're social animals at the end of the day. Anyway, I, I you know, I, I probably sound like I'm rambling here. Uh, let, let's talk about you, Liquid Tate. You know, I don't really know that much about you. What's your story? How's it going? What, you know, what's, uh, what are you about? I mean, it works. I feel like you know about me enough. Um, I mean, you did, you did watch that... me sleep for 40, 39 days in a house, so. Um, you know, I would actually not watch Fish Tank when you guys are sleeping. I didn't really care, right? But I did watch. When you guys were like up drinking, I thought that was entertaining. Uh, w- when you're sleeping and snoring, it, it's not so entertaining. Um, you know, no offense, it's not your job to be entertaining. It's productions, right? Yeah. Do you have hey, braces? Uh, do I have braces? Yeah. Uh, no, mm. no, I, I don't. Does it sound like it? Huh? Does it sound like I have braces? In a way. Oh. No, I take good care of my teeth. They're um, aligned. So, again, the right position to fucking nice. march along a certain line. You just gotta be chill. Trust me. It gotta be chill. So, Taylor, uh, I'm uh, sorry, Liquid Tay. Don't even call it like Liquid Tay. It's Don't, like, bro. No. I don't know. I thought that would be, you know, um, entertaining. I watched you sleep like, day. Oh, hey, QN and I'm a fake fan. Like, oh, that's funny. Liquid in and of herself was like a fucking mystery. Okay. Yeah. And it's like, just trust me, just be like a okay. Like, this be me. What advice you got for little old me that Jim, old Jimmy Downey hasn't given me? But I'll, I'll guarantee you she's going to say the same shit where it's like, hey, yo, bruh, y'all get the fuck up out of that college campus. Like, obviously, you got you got to get the fuck up out of that college campus. That college campus be shit. That college campus got low-quality bitches up in it. And you got you to gotta go west. You got to go west. Just not, not even that far. Not even that far. Just a little bit. You know, that's, that's a good point, Jimmy. I just thought, well, 
you know, should I just continue to talk about myself? Or should I try to start some genuine conversation? Bro, like, chicks don't like it when they can tell that, like, you're thinking about yourself. Yeah, I'm not thinking about myself. I'm just explaining. Um, Jimmy, Jimmy, I think, uh, it's not that. It's like when you're when you're not thinking about yourself and you're thinking about the girl like too much. Do you think that? Do you, do you I mean, think that? I feel like that's 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 a a broad term for every girl in my opinion of like if someone is obsessed with them and they're obsessively talking to them and trying to get their attention, that's when it gets a little off-putting okay no i um i I get that well you know let's let's entertain something here if you were in my shoes and you you know you saw this girl on the show you know like you know hey you know i think she's pretty cute well how would i get in touch with her how would i try to know her better but that's like but that's like that's like me like looking at Sam's videos and thinking, oh my god, how can I get Sam's number? Like, you wouldn't do that. What do you, what do you, why Sam? I'm just saying a random person you see. A random person? Really? Yeah. No, I believe you. Okay. Because it could have been, Um, it could be anybody. Like, watching Smosh. Like, oh, I'm gonna try to get Anthony's number. Like, or watching Big Brother, even. It's like, you can't get... I mean, I get it, Fish Tank is smaller than Big Brother, but, like... I don't know, just to think that is, like... It's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. No, you're right, Taylor. I mean, because I'm just a normal person, dude. Like... I'm a regular person living my life. Like, I'm not... I did what I did on Fish Tank, and that was my part. Like, I get that this was a part of it, with all the fucking stalkers and shit that were probably gonna happen. Wait, 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 Taylor, I'm not... Listen, Taylor, I... I'm not a stalker. Um, I don't... I don't want to harm anyone. I, I really just saw you on the show, and I thought, hey, you know, how can I... Uh, talk to her some more i i really find her interesting and i think we would enjoy each other's company you you know i i I didn't mean to be weird about it um i i I, so if you listen to the voicemail which i i don't know if you did or or the whole voicemail you'd know that i i've never donated to your street right but those are just words but those are just words. Like, what do you mean? just because you said you've never donated. Like, that part I don't even care about. Like, I appreciate whoever does donate, but I don't care if you did or not. But for you to say, oh, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, I don't know. It's just, like, that part, I don't care if you've donated or not. That doesn't matter. I've heard people say your alias and warn me. But also not warn me, and it'd be back and forth as hell. And then I go and look on Bant, and I see shit about you planning on vo- leaving a voicemail. And so oh, uh, I was like, okay. oh shit, like. Taylor, listen, I wasn't proud of myself for leaving the voicemail. Uh, I, I know it's it's sort of, like, you don't want that information out there. I, I wouldn't want my information my phone number out there um i I really didn't mean i I didn't want to do that you know i I tried to message you on instagram about assembling a beanie you might have seen the post and i i used specific um uh, you know a a specific diction there because i thought oh you know you find it funny or, or or unique at least and you'd respond but there was no response and I, um, well, I, I really wanted to talk to you. And I, I saw a number. I didn't, I really didn't think it would work. I, I thought 
the voicemail was a good summary. And I thought if I shared it on Bant, everyone would understand where I'm coming from. And if I were to talk to you, you would understand, right? But Instead, why you would... would you, why would you post it on Bant, though? Like, Because, like I said, it's a good summary of my thought process, right? It's something that if I were to talk to you, I would say that. Of course, it would, wouldn't be so rushed. It wouldn't be four minutes long. It'd be a conversation. But if I were to talk to you, that's what I would say. And I thought, okay, I'll post it on Bant. People will understand my side. Because right now, you get these, these hyperbolic versions of my posts on Bant donated to you, where people say, like, I, I believe one guy said he's moving to Dallas. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't plan on I'm doing that, okay? Do you ever... Uh, but, like, do you not realize that those people are probably just being fucking stupid and making a joke? Yeah, no, I thought about it. I'm like, I'm giving these people ammunition to use against me. You know, I'm... I, I actually... There's a there's a name for them, uh, Liquid Q, which is funny because you're, you're Liquid K, right now but um yeah i was actually no. just talking to liquid q you were yeah from what i believe i i was i think i was oh so um they, they're not good people i i know you you've heard a lot about me you've likely you know painted this image of, of myself honestly i mean if you want me to be completely honest I haven't given y'all a second thought. Like, y'all are just internet people to me. Like, supporting? Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. But, like, the idea of y'all posting about me... Like, y'all just exist on the internet to me. Like, if that line gets crossed where it becomes reality, then there's gonna be a fucking problem. But... As long as y'all just, if, if y'all talk y'all shit and do what y'all want to do on Bant, then whatever. I don't care. I really don't care. But when it becomes, when it gets to the point where the line is crossed and it's interfering with my personal life and with my family, that's when that line is crossed and I will, I will never, honestly, probably ever talk to anybody outside of this. Ever. No. Ever. I... Honestly. Because I have no plans. I only went on Alex's show because that was Alex. I had no plans to do any kind of Q&A with anybody. I really didn't. Like, AB would probably be the closest person, and that's just because I've been watching his digest. And I can see that he's a trust person. Trusted person. Like, you're just mad. You're gonna say fuck AB because I'm giving him attention that you keep begging for. No, 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 not because of that. Have you read his tweet? Um, this is during a show. He called Cole a rapist. See, I didn't... I was in a house for six weeks, so I didn't... Okay, and Summer called Sam a fucking grapist. I'm not gonna say that on stream, but... Well, I I just think it's... Summer called all that. For someone to call another person a rapist if, well, there's no rape occurring and you don't know the person. Listen, I, I appreciate AB's um digest i just think it's weird for him to call someone he doesn't know with no proof a rapist um wouldn't you agree so does that mean you're cold i'm not cold no i'm not um, why'd you almost say me and not cold um i well I, I didn't mean to say me did, did it sound like i say me i'm not cold okay listen i that uh, laugh sure sounded like Cole. Cole. That sounded a lot like Cole right there. Really? It did to me. Okay. Well, I, I'm not Cole. Uh, I have nothing against Cole. Um, you know, I'm, I'm Q. I'm, I'm QAnon. Right? The infamous QAnon. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, those people, Liquid Q, they're not good people. They, they sort of, um, I know they donate to you, and, well, hey, you know, who doesn't like the money, right? 
but these people, uh, they're, they're a bit psychotic, you know, like they're out to get me. Anyway, they'll, they'll fake screenshots of, uh, you posting on Vant or you talking to someone else about me. But the uh, funniest shit is that like, none of that's true. And they're gaslighting you because I don't post on 4chan. It's a waste of time to me. I, 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 I browse through it, but it's a waste of time to me to post on there. And for you to think that I'm out here talking about you with other people is funny. Like, the only time I've ever, like, given you a second thought is when I'm on stream and it's being thrown in my face. Right. Um, you know, I'm noticing, you know, it's getting a bit hostile. I, I didn't mean, you know, anything uh, about it. I, I'm just explaining, you might just have, you know, ideas that these people are the good people, the, the people trying to warn you of a... Uh, a quote unquote stalker. Um, it, it's nothing. Like oh, I'm not. I'm not scared thing. of a stalker. The main thing I was worried about was you doxing my address. That's what I care about. I don't no, give a fuck. I, I don't like if somebody to tries anyone. to stalk me, especially where I live, they're gonna get shot. Like that's a, a guarantee. Just right, that's that's completely yeah. legal on my terms. Yeah, yeah. White Castle laws or, or White Castle laws, where the it, it, you know, yeah, it's very uh, uh, t- Texan of you. But no, I get it. You should defend yourself and your family. Um, but again, I, you know, I didn't mean to be weird. I do have, and I'm surprised you didn't talk about this. I still have the "Do It for Her" poster up. That's cool. You want to talk about that? Do you, it sounds like you want to talk about it. Well, yeah, because I think, you know, I I believe you said that's, like, the weirdest thing you saw uh, post-Tank. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so, like, it's not... (laughs) Jimmy ended it! (laughs) Jimmy ended it! (laughs) Oh, shit. Dude. Jimmy ended it. Jimmy ended it. Good boy, Jimmy. Yeah, good boy, Jimmy. You hang up that phone, Jimmy. Dude! (laughs) He did it for you! (laughs) Bruh, no, Jimmy, don't tell me. Oh, God. Dude, that's hilarious. Jimmy said, I ended your call with him, so he's still rambling. (laughs) Bro. (laughs) Yeah, that was fucked. That was fucked. He sure did sound like Cole. Thank you. Yeah, that one, we're gonna have to, we're gonna scratch that part out, but, like, at least now it's happened. Man. (laughs) Oh my god. No, I I think you guys, the Patriots that are, like, true Patriots are chill. Like, but that... Like, if y'all have a do-it-for-her poster up of me, cool. Cool, I guess. But when you try to invade my personal life, that's when I... mm -mm. Yeah, anyways, happy birthday, Nebby. Happy birthday, Nebby, for real.
Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he had very similar speech patterns to Cole. <laughs> Psh, I miss the good old days of playing Animal Crossing. Fuck. I will say, I did get GTA 4, and I got a controller for GTA 4 now, if y'all want to see that by any chance. Oh, pfft. DNA love, thank you for the five. Apologize, I was warning you of him. That being said, I am in love with you and would love to date you in real life. Thank you for the warning. I apologize that I didn't Listen to your warning. To be fair, I did have Jimmy be the middleman there. Oh, um... Uh, Chris K, thank you for the 10. Tay, where do I meet based women? I'm a doctor and healthcare is full of leftists and so are most of my friends, so I can't even meet the sane women through them. Riz me up. Okay. Uh, bad ideas for the two. Can I leave a voicemail? <laughs> yeah, you can try. You can try, buddy. WTF, I thought no love was QAnon. on. Call no love now. I'm not calling him. <laughs> I'm not calling him too. Damn. That's so crazy. No, this is not an application stream. Sorry, guys. Sorry to... Sorry to break it to you. Is this guy seriously still talking to Jimmy? Is this a bit? I don't know. No, I'm not crying. Don't worry, guys. It's just the wig. Ugh. I low-key hate it. Is he still- I can't believe it. If he's still talking to Jimmy, that's wild as shit. No way. Side down. Call me a retard. Or, I, I don't know if you can say that on YouTube, call me a, a, a silly billy. Right? But, um... A penis flemus. Oh, uh, repeat that? A penis flemus. Yeah, that's funny. Um, but I wonder if, so yeah, so Tay just left, huh? Nah, man, she's still here. She's just listening. She's just like, bruh. Oh, wait, she's still here? Yeah. Nah. No, I thought it was just us. Bruh, you're fine, but it's like. 
God. No, but you get what I'm saying, right? And it's like, fuck the Bant's boards, right? You clearly do not use 4chan. Because that would just be silly for you to use 4chan and turn out like this. I, I don't get it. Why is it so unbelievable that I use 4chan? Uh, because, well, I'm gonna be honest. They're letting a lot of us down. No. I'm, I'm uh, disappointing the anons out there. Don't tell I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't care. Simply put. Like, most, most posters on 4chan are, like, Chinese. So, like, I, I don't really care what they have to say. They're sort of like these, like pathetic. I call them serfs. In the voice now, I said serfs. <laughs> he wasn't even listening. I eat my chicken right now. That chicken's good. Yeah. I so fucking love like chicken. Uh, Do you know that? Um. What, what did you say? I fucking love chicken. Yep. Are you like a breast? Um, like thigh? Uh, drumstick? I'm I'm a thigh and drumstick man myself. Huh. Yeah. Man, I the cafeteria here sucks, and it's terrible because I'm paying like thousands of dollars. Yeah, no chip because yeah. you're in uh that state we're not gonna mention. Yeah. The state, the state sucks. Yo, I am telling. Y'all want to play GTA 4? <laughs> Y'all want to play GTA 4? <laughs> this is wild. Get this guy a t shirt that says, I stalked Taylee for weeks and all I got was a two hour phone conversation with Jimmy. That's so funny. Oh, fuck, dude. I want to watch the digest, but like, fuck. I wanted to save the digest for next week, the set, like the third week. I got an idea. I'm making a poll, guys. Don't worry. Alright. I have started a poll. Thank you for that. Damn, we got sixty forty right now. Yeah. I like that too, AB. I like the idea of just playing GTA and then having it timed out week by week. That's what I was thinking. Listen to AB.
The full interview with TJ in the attic? Should I look at that? Okay, I'll react to this and hope you're not fucking with me. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Don't worry. Don't worry. No worries, my guy. I got you. Let's see if this is a uh, good YouTube video. Oh! Is the music copyrighted, though? Is the music copyrighted? We're getting Digest as the choice here, okay? I see. I see. Digest is winning. I'll react to this edit. I think I've seen this actually. But there's music that can't be played. So let me uh get it pulled up. Oh fuck. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't switch it over. My bad. My bad. Damn. <laughs> oh my god We're watching it on mute because I don't want to get copyrighted. That's it. It's not? Is it not copyrighted? Are we, like, for certain? Because you're saying it's not copyrighted, I promise, but... Boop beep boop boop beep boop boop beep. Incredible. How would you feel if you didn't have breakfast this morning? Oh. It'll say if it's copyrighted. I think this is copyrighted. Yeah, this is. I'm <laughs> Do 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 do
Hell yeah, I like that. I like that it was like an, a 70s intro. I like that. What? Check out Taily Cute Moments? Uh, actually, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I watched the fight from the basement. I saw, like, the last half of it. Because I was trying to shower really quick. That's what I was thinking. That most of these would have copyrighted audio. Let's see if I can find the one you're talking about. What are you calling it? Oh, God. Oh, by, Sad Taylor, by Sadville. A 
sounds like the one. Okay. Haley, introduce yourself. Uh, hi, Haley. Uh, I'm 22. Oh, that's copyrighted. This is crazy. Oh, God. Oh, God. The music is copyrighted. The music is copyrighted. <laughs> what do you mean, what's the point? Y'all wanted me to react to it. I've seen this one too, actually. I think my mom showed me this one. As crazy as it is. Oh. Oh. Good lord. Is this still fucking going? Oh. Is he just watching me now? Got to know me better. Oh, he's still talking. I got to know them better. You know, we could enjoy each other's company. Yeah. That's why I, I talk about doing Q&As, right? I, you know, I had this whole uh, Q&A set up with Taylor. Uh, which, you know, I don't think it's... I don't, I don't think it's over. Good lord. Like, I know I'm I can't. I'm done. I'm sick of this. So these sack live ones are the ones y'all are talking about? Can we get a pose for the camera after the sparring sesh with the judge and Taylor? Mm. Come here. Come here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Shadowing. Does anyone else feel like horrible? 100%. What we're gonna do, right? You're gonna come here. Throw out your glasses. And throw it forward. Uh, I got it. Right. keep right. my hand tight. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. so here, there you go. Bang. There. It's. Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. I'm doing this for you! The worst thing ever in my life. Three! Empty! Patty! Go get to the window! You're fucking teeth! Fight me, bitch! I will! Fight me! Fight me. Fight me. You being a lutton, old thing. Tonight, you're to sit here all night. I'm not Asian. I'm from Germany. Freeze! Now that's a Jimmy victory, boy. I'm not letting you shit ever, you fucking. I'm fucking with. Fuck y'all, bitches. Nicely done, Jimmy. It's like, it's just like, look, I really try not to get angry. I'm on your side. I think you did the right thing. So apparently people are already using AI to make goblin porn of her. I'm not surprised. Yeah. In Japan, there's a new city. They're coming out with a series called Goblin Fuck 5000. It's her stars her likeness. New fish toy is an 11 foot strap on. <laughs> it's not cheap, but I'm starting a GoFundMe. Hang in there, ladies. It's the nifty goblin. Oh, yeah. The gobblerizer. Yeah. 
She doesn't call it anal, she calls it goblinerizing. She doesn't call it anal, she calls it fun. Yeah, because that's the only thing that she can do to have fun. She just calls it fun, because it's synonymous with, <laughs> for her with fun. <coughs> yeah. Anal. She actually tried legally changing her name to anal. She likes using fun beads. Yeah, she uses fun beads. <laughs> she does fun sex, and she tried changing her name to anal. <laughs> Chris is live Thank right you, now. Patriots. <laughs> she needs me in the stomach! so funny. Dude, he was like purple. <laughs> Fucking ads, dude. Wake up! Do you like money? Do you like money? Do you like money? <laughs> Give me your snack, girl. No snack! <laughs> I'll ask you for that later. Straight from the swamp. I went to the bank this morning. I didn't have time to count. I didn't have time to open it up. All this plastic and finicky. I don't know how to get in there. I don't even know how to get in there. She's not sexy enough. Uh, what is that? Sexy enough! Uh, no! Sex! No! Sex! Did you need this? Well, she's not sexy enough! See you in the next space. Cowboy. Sinji, are you all done? Fuck that man. Axis Alliance rising. Get him out and become heroes. Ah. Even you, Brian. You can redeem yourself. Thank you. I'm trying, man. I am you. at the bar. Fish tank. Be careful having that uh -huh. around the bar, Shinji. Some liquor might go missing. My name is Jimmy. It's the worst thing Japan has done to chess since the reign of Dan King. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jet, do you know what a loop cooch is? said black people lose shit all the time and blame other people. It's a very stereotypical thing of him to do. And he said himself, not gonna let some neighbor accuse me of shit because of my race. Ooh, the taste sister out here. Let's go. Taste and Johnny Rebel for us, please. Queen, me, 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 me,
be honest, I know you'd be giggling like a little schoolgirl when TJ and Taylor are having their mushy daytime. Yeah, right. You want to know? You want to know how we're in the basement when we see Taylor and TJ? He's got his feet up. This is me. This is me watching. Dude, he's being fucked up. He's he's being fucked up. No, he is though. He is. Yeah. You can't. Y'all want me to stream snipe Chris? What is Chris's YouTube? I didn't know Chris had a YouTube. <laughs> okay, alright, Chad. Alright, um, just so you guys know, Nifty is, uh, she's not like you guys. She's exempt from stuff that you're not exempt from. She doesn't have to do beefs, challenges. She doesn't have to do anything fucked up. Um, and that's probably why you're resentful. You're streaming um, on Hong Kong too? And I get that. No, uh, there's other reasons, but I'm not gonna interrupt. Yeah, that's not even... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, matter. you can't target Nifty too hard by orders of production. I want her to stay because there's this bit I run where I go up there at like 4 or 5 a.m. and I play Minecraft videos in her room. <laughs> And I think that's really funny. And if you ruin that bit for me, I'll kick you off the show. Last night, uh, I asked your fans to provide images of you that I would print out and bring you. For some of you, this is the first time you've seen images of yourself on the show. Um, Consider this a little New Year's gift. Here's, oh, here's Taylor throwing a Hitler salute. <laughs> ah, it's a Jay, come here. Taylor, if you're CJ manipulating Taylor, you're doing this. Is that mine? It's yours. <laughs> you only got it together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so here. Talking with Jimmy? Is that still happening right now? Is Jimmy still talking to him? I hope not. Oh, nice. You're just eating fried chicken? Nice. Yeah. No, no more talking to him. Oh, shit. We stream sniping Big God. Be patient with me. We're stream sniping big guy. Oh, this feels cringe. It feels cringe. <laughs> do y'all want to stream snipe Chris, like, for real? Because I will do it, but it just feels cringe. Because I'm, like, stream sniping. Like, is it cringe to stream snipe? Actually... Five AM at the bar fish tank. Actually, yeah, I have been seeing that, so that's fair. I'll pull that up. I'll pull that up. Let me pull that up. Five AM at the fish tank bar, right? What is it? What is stream sniping then? I thought it was where you watch someone else's stream. 
I don't know how to play Silent Hill, actually. 5 a.m. at the bar, fish tank. My do cube. But I hit. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my bad. I didn't know that. My bad. I didn't know that. I've never seen that before. Oh, like you peek and what? I'm so stupid. I'm not really in the streamer community. Is this what we were talking about? Drink coffee. Do you play or hit the coffee? Yeah, bro is fucking healing. When I fucking drink coffee, I feel like Starships by Nicki Minaj comes on. Oh, man. It's like a fast Starships. beat. Starships and nice guys. Like I sing. I sing. Uh, fucking. Uh, we are who we are by Kesha with Allie before the dating oh, show. Fuck you, yeah. yeah, her and I were singing it. She gives me a Kesha vibe. Oh no, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Allie gives me Kesha vibe. Like, yeah. no, 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 I want to start a fight. That's my favorite song. My Kesha start a fight. I, I used to listen to that shit when I was no, no, I think that's, no, that's uh, that's pink. No, is that pink? Yeah. And I told her, I told Allie so too. I was like, dude, I'm pink. I fucking. I'm but just, she said she was I'm, only 23. I want to get the brain. I know. I was like, yeah. yeah. If she was born in 2000, I was like, <laughs> yeah. And she seemed like she was I'm whatever. Like, like, so, really like, hard. If she was like playing a character, she broke character and like straight up. I don't care. <laughs> she was still like, oh, yeah, on that same level that she had been, but she like, said it like, as if she was being like, fully honest. Yeah, Pink is and fucking I was real. Like, yeah, Pink, like, my favorite song I heard is just But then I was like, at the same time, yeah, yeah. I couldn't see it. Like, I couldn't yeah, see it. Yeah, I don't think like, y'all understand. I, I played that song three. probably like yeah. 30 times. She said she was like into the same like emo shit that I was into as well. And at the same time, I know what song I was like, dude, we have to be the same. Just give me your reason just a little bit tonight. When that song came out, Taylor, I played that song on my five, my iPhone 5C like 30 times. Uh -huh. No, for me, it's my It was so bad, 3. like. It's my iPhone 3. Like, cause Pink is that bitch. Like, she's, mm -hmm. she's the white woman. <laughs> and like, Pink the black. Pink is that bitch. She's Pink the white real woman. Real as fuck. Pink is that white woman <laughs> in the community, in the, in the black community, she gets a pass. Like, I don't think y'all understand, like, Pink is big. For real, I'm not even joking. I couldn't enough. believe that. Actually. In a black community, pink is a big deal. Like I I'm not even joking. That's the pink is baller. Even if people, even if people know like three pink songs, they're like pink is that bitch. Oh my god, dude, shave my head. <laughs> it's like kicking it. And then no, on the end of it, she's like, "We'll come clean." Yeah. Like that, I like the that guy note. from Fun that sings. Would you say uh, him? I used to like that band a lot. He disappeared actually. on me. I didn't yeah, like he that. Did. Like, he made one banger, got his royal cheese, and he it's forever good. He did a smart move. <laughs> out. And if you, bitch, if you watching this, we need more music. His movies. name was like Nathan Radcliffe or some shit. Yeah, Nathan, it was a Nathan something because I I can still remember the song of my Apple. I really liked Fun mm. when I was like ten. Oh, fine was that song. And Maroon 5. I really like Maroon 5. I'm a real 5 Maroon came out. Five. Yeah. I'm a real 5. Oh, no. Adam Levine is that boy. Like, I used to have the biggest crush on him. I went to a Maroon really? 5 concert. Oh, shit. Yeah, Maroon oh, is that. Like, they, damn, they need their toes curled. Is, that when, is that when, like, what? Night was the shit? <laughs> <laughs> what? Forget it. Nobody cares. Yeah, what's that? What's your vibe with Yeah, I think so. That's what I was thinking. Because I was like, superstar. Really into it. Yeah, yeah. Superstar by Lady Gaga, and um, when she made video fun with Beyonce, that was like the, like the ultimate process. You know I, that love, I love Lady Gaga. Uh, I love Lady Gaga. Video fun by Beyonce and Lady singing, like, Gaga. I was singing like a telephone. Huh? Well, telephone, like, yes! Telephone by Beyonce and Lady Gaga. Question. That was the fucking peak. When Honestly, black like, of, white people crossed over, I was like, how you doing? This is what we've been waiting on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This was, this was like. Uh, yeah, that was the peak. 
This was such a uh, insane know, argument. Like, I always feel like Bruno Mars the weekend. That's what I'm thinking right now, at least. I like, vibe right now. You know what? I used to get Bruno Mars and the weekend mix, mixed up a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> but when he made Grenade. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. And uh, that's all I know. That's all I was not even in love at the time. I was like, 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 I was the funniest thing to me was uh, Justin Bieber's uh, As Long As You Love Me, where uh, he's like getting shot by his girlfriend's dad. He knew video. what he was doing about making uh, that video. Oh, yeah, but like when I was like 10, I was like, oh my god, Justin, no! <laughs> he's done! He's done. Yeah, when he came out with Baby. Like when Justin Bieber came out with Baby, I just remember being so young and like at the, the funniest and the skiing, the skiing and ring, and I'm just like I'm just in love. I don't know who I'm in love. But I'm just like oh, yeah, people were uh, people were hating, <laughs> like, uh, people were hating on that oh fucking God. shit, but that shit was like baller though. No, like when Luna Chris on that feature, uh, like it was like Luna Chris, shout to you, Luna Chris. You got to the African queen, period. But like when Justin Bieber came out with "Baby," I was I was in love. The first song I ever heard about Justin Bieber. Is uh, uh, Justin time. Bieber is gay. My cousin. Uh, I liked him when I was like ten. Oh. God rest her soul. She died in a car wreck. But uh, she like forced me to listen to one uh, one time by Justin Bieber like twelve thousand times and made me like memorize it because she was that big. Oh, of Justin Bieber. Bieber will for always be that boy. I don't well, care. she was like she was probably like eleven or twelve. I don't know. I, I don't. I can't. <laughs> this is when Oliver and Dunye start arguing. But like, it gets to the point where it's just us three. That's what it is. It's like the argument really starts like here. In New Zealand, okay. Period. Remember when that guy did that doom run through the house, that was nuts. I'm telling anything. you some real shit. Like, if you come to Florida, they were trying to rob you. I'm some real shit. Like. Riding all day on the molly, yeah, they with the shit. They put a gun to your throat trying to kill you. Oh, ooh, help, 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 You know, the, you know about the city girls, right? What, yeah, the two girls from Miami. Oh, God. Them niggas, they know, like, my brothers oh, no, no, like the niggas. Shout out to them city bitches. Like, my brothers are on some real shit. One of my second oldest. Shout out to them city bitches, bro. My second oldest brother just got on the city. These motherfuckers told me about it, You don't know shit about it, man. From an African person that's fake, that's lightweight to us. 12 inches, Oliver, I swear to God. My cousin, her biggest was this. Look. Oliver, look. 12 inches of elephant shit. Good God. Elephant shit. And he was from Congo. You know, Congo. And Oliver was acting like he was puking. Oliver was going to act like he was throwing up. It was like really weird. I fuck with a Congolese that's like eight, nine inches. You think like that's something to me? Seven of those are like going inside of me on some real shit. Like. Oh, yeah. Grits gang sign on the wall. Like, tell me, no, I'm not lying. Tell me, no, it's a lot of Africans in Texas. Like, I'm just telling you, like, don't think you're the standard. Because if somebody's <laughs> way bigger than you, like, and riding it like a soldier and making them, like, three minutes, I swear to God, that's my goal. That was That's my record right now. I'm trying to beat three minutes. I'm trying to be, like, two minutes. <clears throat> two minutes and 30 seconds is my goal. Is all right? Huh? What? I was just like, bro. And then the thing is, Oliver, like, no, New Zealand people. Gotta... Don't make sure this whole Yeah. Okay. Oliver, New Zealand people, y'all have regular sex. Y'all don't have a sex. I was drinking anymore. coffee. Yeah. I don't take a problem with black Yeah, my head was cold. I was and I couldn't wear a hat. We have the most realest, kinkiest sex. Also, real shit. That's why I was trying to squeal on school on end. Tell me, no, I'm not lying. I wouldn't, I actually wouldn't know. You I'm wouldn't know, but like, you know what I'm saying, black like, black people, they, they gonna fucking choke you out and fucking mm. make sure. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead, alright, good night, guys. No, no, fuck, come here, bitch. Alright, uh, good night. No, come here. Thanks for chatting. Come here, right now. Uh, I honestly feel like I'm Thank you, Sam, I just awesome for the two. I guess message not accepted. Should I delete and resend? I didn't see your first one. Sorry, man. 
My bitch cut her hair off and one wop and you going to sleep? Like, you don't understand and what you got yourself into. Like, you, you on my home field and you talking to me about dick and no, respect. You worried. Like, you talking about nine and ten. Dick size took bigger than yours. Like, you think I can't, like, come on now. No, we good. We good. We kicking it. Nine, eight inches. That's like... I'm clenching with my asshole and making Yo, shout comments. out to everybody fucking watching this shit. If any, if anybody, that nigga grew on me too. Listen, three minutes. Man, at this point, it's three minutes. Dead. It's dead. Three minutes. Fat and long. Three minutes. It's that was dead. my record. Mm -hmm. I don't think you get it by now. When I'm drunk, it's like my ancestral power comes from. <sighs> Bald and bankrupt here. Hell yeah. You a lightweight to me. I just want to school white boys like you to let y'all know, like, y'all are not, like, everyone's asleep. No, everyone's asleep, but we're all three of us awake. I was just telling you, like, step, step, when I say step your dick up, it's not, like, in a sexual way. It's, like, step your manhood up. I'm out here. Hey, we still out here, man. No one else out here. When you, when you go back to New Zealand, you need to teach them some new shit. Because I know if New Zealanders are like you, they're not really caught up on shit. Y'all know rap, but y'all don't know shit about culture. You want rap battle? No, it's for rap what? Battle. I'm black. That's rap battle. I'm black. It's rap battle. I'm black. Even if you win, scared, this scared. is a white man standing. I'm black. I understand it. Oh. I'm some real shit. I'm black. Yeah, but... I'm black, you black. black. You ain't like on the other shit. Though. On what? The real... I on my... Yeah, that's fair. A lot of incoherent... Rapping, or uh... Rapping. Incoherent rambling tonight. Also, by the way, I'm on my regular, I'm on an incognito, so this is not my recommended. Psh. Fuck no, I never cut for Bieber. You know how stupid that is? You know how stupid that is? GTA 4? Oh wait. We had digest. We had digest. Digest time. We wanted to uh watch the last watch three more of the digest. GTA 4 or Digest? GTA 4 or Digest? Let's go bowling. <laughs> okay, you can't digest anymore. I get it. GTA 4? I saw this thing in Digest next week. That's what I was kind of thinking. I know that, po that poll was like an hour ago. I started watching clips. I mean, y'all say, like, do what I want to do, but I'm here to entertain you guys. I don't want to, like... I mean, I get it, like... I, I get it, but I want to at least, like, if y'all want to... Yeah, I, I was thinking to do Digest because that did win the poll. But I did want to save the Digest for next week. That's what I was thinking. I wanted to spread out the digests. I wanted to do a week in each stream. That's what I was thinking. Too much digest is too too much. Okay, we're on chill max mode. Does that mean we get to open GTA 4? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Hell yeah, guys. We better be playing GTA 4. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I hate when I do this. Silly me. What? 
Oh, that's cool. this guys I got a controller um oh god damn damn sorry okay um damn I know I have a bunch of unread super chats I'm sorry it's not notifying me like it should be and I have to close out of this every time to fucking check let me check again guys don't worry uh thank you for the five dollars oops doxed myself with my first dono still wanted that GTA 4 swing set glitch though where are my bald Tay fans at hell yeah thank you uh, same high is awesome you said I, I Instagram message not accepted It'll be accepted at some point, and I'm sorry. I'm still getting through everybody. There's, like, weeks worth of... Because people were texting me shit while I was, you know, in the tank. So there's also that. Um... Uh, Shemitty 911 thank you for the five. Uh, any attention for some of these weirdos, good or bad, is what they want. Dr. Tetanus with the two. Ask him if he's coal. Uh, Water Molecule, thank you for the two. Taylor Run. Uh, Julius Evola, thank you for the ten. Tay, ask him what he thinks about the Lemic women. Trust me. Uh, Ikaj, for the two, thank you. Tell him Liquid Q1 and you're already DMing. Uh, Firebug with the 10. When Tay and her stalker get married, they're going to look back at this moment and laugh. G8 with the 5 pounds. Finish it once and for all, Tay. Bad ideas with the 2. Can I leave a voicemail? Uh, I read that. Um, I read those. Okay. Yeah. I read everybody's. I just wanted to make sure. I know I need to play Red Dead Redemption at some point. I know. GTA time, guys. The crocheting's coming along good. Oh, my god. I need to turn off the music. I was playing this uh, earlier, so I turned on the music. All right, we got to uh, little Jacob already. Oh wait, I took off my glasses so I could. No, now I can see. Where you going? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Tried to tell you. Headphones. Headphones. Okay. Let me get the headphones going. But I want to make sure y'all can hear it too. That's what I'm worried about. Can y'all hear it? I can't tell if y'all can hear it or not. That's what I'm... 
upset about right now. God damn. Okay. Okay, y'all can't hear it. Okay, good. protection money old man big vlad and his protection money i so scared what i need protection from you think this door is going to save your shop find something to throw okay That's so funny. What? Bruh. What? How is this happening? <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, let's see. Come on. What? <laughs> How is this happening? Dude. Throw the bottom one? Bruh. What? Do I have to be really close? Is that. Dude. The window or the door? Oh. Stop it, shit brain! I pay up now! I pay up! Shit! Here! I thought Vlad and I had <laughs> understanding. Only thing I understood was you owed him money. Jesus, buddy, I don't have all Where's my bike? Oh, I took a cab. <laughs> Where to? So can that's you take fair, me to Mohawk Avenue? I'll take the long way. That's uh, very kind of you. Nice. Did it. Hey, Yokel. You managed to do the job? Get Vlad his money? He paid up. Oh, that copper, you're into the cab. What? My bike! My bike is gone! God damn it. Just stole it. Much fun. 
gone since I got here. It's been a lot like hard work. Well, you should hang out with your cousin more often. Maybe that is the problem. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Bruce. Well, we're sitting here. You shouldn't cry wolf. Who knows when you really need help? Fuck! I think they see us. Have to go, Nico. Shoot! Sorry. You're going to have your license revoked. What? My friend, smoking in a bar is a crime, plain and simple. Well, you're joking, right? This is a joke. Yeah, you're playing hey, a joke on me. Hey, Mallory, right? tell Fadig his cousin is okay. He mm. just walked in. Great girl. Yeah? Just like that Stay movie away drive. From <laughs> of course. Now listen, you did good with the business the other day. a message from Vlad. Shit! Stay away from me! It's harder for both of us.
thank you for the five. Did that person, Alex Stein, said he would kill ever try to hit you up after the show? I spoke to the laundry man. I imagine he'd have some words to he say. He gets the message. He, he will pay you now. I like your style. You can be an intimidating guy. It's a shame everybody knows what a stupid yoko you are when you open your mouth. Huh? Get back to the bar, so. as badly as it looked. didn't explode. Might as well put it out of its misery. and vehicles. God damn it. Come here. Get your ass out of there.
All right, man. We go see something. I should be with you in no more than one hour. Okay, man. I will see you soon then. Except for the other ones. Let's go. Nico, you do not know how great it is to have you here with me. Before you... Cabaret club, Russian shop, restaurant, bar. Let's go to the bar. City. Things were terrible. I still remember the emails you sent me, cousin. You should have told me how bad things were in this country before I got here. Okay, things aren't easy for us here, but together, we are doing all right. America is an opportunity for a new beginning. You were in either one. There's no such thing as a new beginning, Roman. With every day we live, we pick up new baggage. Baggage that we must carry with us for the rest of our lives. There's no dropping into pretending we are fresh and clean. Just because we get off a boat in a new place. Stop being so dramatic, Nico. Time is a healer. We live and we forget the past. Nothing helps a man forget, like riding around American titties. You have to move on from the things that happened to you and think about all the opportunities in this country. Chances to make lots of money. Chances to get college girls and to bed. Jean said de Bostonesh, Soronia. I heard that. I haven't forgotten our language completely. To God that Vlad isn't here. It's a shame we did not meet Vlad in there. I want to. Oh, shit. Uh, thank you for the five dollars. The guy Alex Stein wanted to kill was your abusive ex. Did he try to contact you? Oh, no. Listen, that guy you talked to earlier inspired me to shoot my shot. I'm 36, built, but built well and hot. If I do say so myself, sorry, just making the $5 worth it. So I'm typing a lot. Uh, thanks. The long shot he is. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Drunk driving. I am sober. We're going booze driving in this state? Not a good idea. Immediately pulls you over. I am oh sober. God. I had a lot to drink, but I'm straight sober. Sure. I am. Listen, man. I'm seeing funny. I think I got spiked. What? What is spiked? I think someone put something in my drink. Evil men. Women, they wish to oh take advantage of. And which nice sailor in there do you think wanted to take advantage of you, pretty lady? Firstly, I wasn't in the fucking merchant navy. And secondly, cousin and friend, fuck you. And thirdly, people also do it if they want to steal your kidneys or your liver. Who would want your kidneys or liver? 
They must all be shot through by now. Thank <laughs> you, I'm an alpha male. I'm at the top of the tree. My God, Mary. Not that tree. tree oh my life. God. Oh, that tree. Stop talking shit. Oh my god! Chill, man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're loose cruising! Get out of here! What the fuck is going on? Oh my <laughs> god! That's the unit from OB. Oh my god! This country! in the mood for this. No! <laughs> Roman, we gotta go to the fucking... Not fucking funny. Roman! <laughs> Come on, killer! What you got? You're screwed now, cheap No! Man. Get no, down! No, I'm gonna shoot! Don't even switch! switch. You hear? Head on this is on you. you. Dead man. I got him! Give it a shot! We got you! Oh, I'm out. I'm free now. I'm not drunk anymore. I'm not drunk anymore. We're not drunk anymore. Ambulance ran over the cop or the news truck did.
just threw me out of her car? No. Right outside the police department. That's hilarious. I don't fight Neanderthals. Definitely won't have enough speed. Here we go, guys. <laughs> nice. Hey, whenever y'all ready up there. <laughs> 
Запомни, если хочешь сделать деньги, приходи работать за меня. I've played through these cutscenes before. Sorry, that's why I just have been just doing it. Oops. Hey, yes, this is. I moved the fucking lady out of the way. belong to Vlad? No, it's mom. Who asked him? It belongs to Vlad now. You should pay your debts. You that fat Russians, bitch? Just try and take it, bitch. Vlad. It's not pretty though. Real dirty. Dirty? I can't sell a dirty car. I know your cousins like them dirty. Maybe your whole yokel family drives around in a dirty car, but it's not the way over here. Fucking peasants don't do nothing right. Hey, I could fuck this car up worse than a little dirt. Relax, man. You should lose your age. There's a car wash over in Saratoga Avenue. Take it over there, and then to my locker, just a mohawk. Did they give the car up easy? He was reluctant. Stupid bastard. At least I got my money.
something. So what are we thinking, everybody? Are we having a good time? No, this is a views. Nothing. We chillin', we chillin'. Hell yeah. Are we liking are we liking GTA four? We're liking GTA four. Sorry, I'm bad at giving commentary. I just sit and like rot my brain silently as I play games. I would actually- that would be fun to play chess. I miss playing chess. I used to play chess a lot. Twenty-four-seven playthrough. Nebby's played enough of this game, honestly. She's sat and watched me play it so much. She's right here, by the way. You can't see her. She's off frame. She's laying right here. Right here. She's laying on my desk right here. She still likes the whale toy. I don't know. I've never been raided in chess. I've just played it. I do need to show you all my Animal Crossing Island. Yeah, you can play pool in this, you can bowl too. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to try Stardew Valley. I have a dog. Off we go. Gotta knock off this car. Now, have you lost? 
lost your fucking mind? Shit! All this shit! up now, I hate to think what they were like before I arrived. <laughs> I hear you're working with little Jacob. He's a good man, Jacob. A good man. I can't tell what he's saying most of the time, but I like him. That is your bad English, Nico. Once you've been in America for longer, you will understand it's perfect. Sure I will, Roman. Later on. <laughs> Clean, wasn't it? Well, maybe you should stay home. Goodbye. When's the car gonna explode?
this car. Stop the What I love to do is when you uh cross the Don't line. Don't shoot you with wings. Dead ahead. I'll get that shit stained myself. I got him in my sights. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> stay down. Officer down. Call the paramedics. I'll do like one more mission and then I might chill with GTA. Talk with you guys for a minute and then Yo, head out, I get think. out of there now. Chill, man. I I'll take it. Man, my car just got fucking jacked. Sorry, I didn't think about that. Shit! 
your first one, aren't you? You trying to rob my cousin? Vlad's a bomb, he set me up! Vlad don't like you no more, man! There's nothing in this town! Don't do this to him! I thought everyone in this country was fat and slumped! There ain't nowhere left for you to run. He got away. Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, that mission sucks. Thank you, Cool Planet, for the five dollars. I'll keep that in mind. Killing you in a bad ass. Now I'm coming around to the idea. to sweat. Shit! Vlad don't like you no more, man. He's not like in this town. Don't do this for him. You've run out of roof, dickhead. Promises. Sorry, I'm too quiet. I'm sorry. 
I'm frying my brain. I finished the mission though. That was mainly what I was trying to wait for. However, I am up here. Ivan is dead. He came to a sticky end. Hey, you and your cousin. That was bad. Wait, what? Hell yeah. How'd we do tonight, guys? Did we have a lot of fun? Did we have fun celebrating Nebula's birthday? Here she is. Oh, I've seen Manhunter. Is wait, no, I'm thinking Mindhunter. Never mind. <laughs> Thank you for the five. Tay's not joking about Texas. Advice for stalkers. Tay's not joking about Texas. I once parked in front of someone's house during a hailstorm and the guy came out on a lawnmower and was not happy with my parking location. <laughs> I was wanting to play bully. I actually have been wanting to play bully. Point camera towards Nebby. It's hard to. Hold on. There she is. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Let me try to fix this now. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah. Happy birthday, Nebby, for real. Happy birthday, Nebby. I'm so glad. The shark mask is still back behind me, but I had to, like, change the camera angle so you can't see it anymore. But it is still back there. 
Yeah, I do need to work on talking during gameplay. It's so, I get so like in the zone when I play games that I don't talk, which is hard. I need to talk. My friend and I, uh, we were hanging out this weekend and we were both talking about how, because uh, we play Minecraft together, and she was saying that she'd be down to join the stream like over voice, and we play Minecraft. So I'm looking to play Minecraft at some point, which will be fun. But, yeah. I want to get a mobile cam here pretty soon. Do y'all have any... Do y'all have, like... Uh... Do y'all want me to play... Do y'all want me to play chess right now? Because I will play a game of chess. Yeah, my friend's married. So, <laughs> that's why I didn't want to say her name. But we did both talk about wanting to play Minecraft. Do you want to see me play chess? Online chess. Chess.com. Seems pretty straightforward. It up. Alright. Uh, thank you for the subscription. Thank you. Alright, so we're playing chess. Are we down? <laughs> All right, all right, all right. What? What the fuck? Does this even matter? I just want to play. All right. I'm going to move this pawn. What? It's in Spanish. All right, all right. I'm going to move. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's the queen. That's the king. Okay. Oh, fuck. God damn it, I was thinking that. Mm. Mm. There's something that hits different when you're playing it with a person. Silly me. Is this the queen? Oh, god damn it. <sighs> I thought it was a fucking king. Now I feel like a retard. I mean, a, re a regard. Fuck. I'm rusty. Mm. Fuck. It's gonna take out my bishop. You get away from me. That's funny. Then it even gives you the option of that. Bruh. That puts me in check. Oh, man. I feel like an idiot. Mm. it in Spanish. <laughs> okay. I wish I didn't have to do the first move. Mm. It's so hard because it's against a computer too, so it's like, what is it thinking? Mm. Yeah, fuck it.
Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Good for you. I see. It's gonna take my night. Yep. interesting. Okay. Mm. check. Okay. I'm not going to get in. Mm. Well, thank you for the five dollars. Uh, Q says he still has a shot with you. Thoughts? That's that's what he wants to think. If that's what he wants to think. Lost cause. Check. Mm. Fuck. God damn it. Nope. Shouldn't have done that. No! God damn it. I didn't mean to click that. Can I move? Okay. That's good. Glad you can do that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> nope. It's been so long since I've played chess. Q got Jimmy zoned. Hashtag Q lost. Okay. I have a hope. I have a hope. Fuck. 
But I lost my queen. That's the most important piece. Fuck. No, the rook. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm intently thinking about this. chance somewhere. That's why I don't have checkmate. Uh, give me two spaces, right? No, I can defend it. I think is the case here. Uh, fuck. Fuck. It's gonna take my foot, yep. Oh. There we go. No! God! Ha! <sighs> it's close. Alright. I'll think my- I'll think my moves out loud this time. Oh, now it's in- it's in English. That's weird. Okay. I'm gonna move this pawn here. Alright. They're doing that. And then they're gonna move the rook. So... I'm gonna do this. Doesn't hurt to lose some pawns every now and then. This pawn. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> oh, no! I'm so bad at this. It's something, there's just something different when it's in front of you. It feels more like you're plotting a war. And it feels cool. But this, it hits different. I'm about to get my fucking, oh. I'm very surprised. It's not a terrible thing if that happened. Bishop. Oh. No. Motherfucker. Fuck. Fuck. 
No. No. It's gonna take that. No. Okay. I feel like I did worse by talking out loud that time. Take that pawn, I'm guessing. No. That's a trap. Shit. Cool. Dude. Fuck. Nah, I knew that was gonna fucking happen. Looking fucked. Yep. I lost. Every time. I lost. I'm a loser. I'm a loser, guys. I can't help it. I'm a loser. I'm a loser. It's been fun.